love, light and healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. Y'all climb on in, climb on in. Holla at me. Y'all see what we talking about today. We talking about the dangers of a uh, high protein animal beat eating diets and how, you know, eating these animals and eating this flesh is truly, truly, truly killing our people at a alarming high rate. I mean, if you really, really start getting into it, if you really, really start studying and doing the proper research, you will see that everybody's in the hospital due to these animal diets. Ain't nobody in the hospital. You are either in the hospital for two things. You're in the hospital for trauma or you in the hospital and you in these doctor's office because of your diet, period, point blank, period. Even if we talking about uh, genetics and passing down genetics and passing down, you know, warped and damaged DNA, all this stuff stimulates from what you put in your mouth. And we going to prove this today. So y'all climb on in. Peace, peace, peace to everybody climbing up in the building. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace, love, light and healing family. Peace, peace, family. Y'all climb on in. And let's talk about it today. Let's talk about it. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? We're going to go go through it and it's going to be a three day part, three day series, because all of this that I'm doing right now is going to prove a big point. And the big point that I'm proving is that she or gods. Uh, I know a lot of people be getting mad at me because I state that and I say that all the time, but I really, really mean it when I say that. And I can prove this scientifically. I can prove this with literature. I can prove this with ancient rolls. I can uh, scrolls. I can prove this from the downloads that I get through my DNA. I can prove this with nature. I can prove this with archaeology. I can prove this in so many different ways that she or a sentient being that you are truly a God, you are truly a spiritual being that is having a human experience and you literally your mind created this body in this holographic universe for you to play with your creation for you can enjoy what you created. And if if that is the truth, which it is and which I can truly, truly prove that. And if you are God, then I mean, God have a food. If you are a God, that mean God have a drink. If you are God, then I mean, God have things that it puts on his skin, things that it wear. It wouldn't wear what civilians wear. It wouldn't eat what civilians eat. You know, you got, if you look in the bird kingdoms, you got two totally different birds. All of them are part of the bird kingdom. They don't even eat the same diet. You got parakeets and parrots, you know, that, that actually eat uh, uh, fruits and seeds and nuts and stuff like that. But then you got your vultures and you, you got your ospreys. You got all these other different birds like eagles and hawks that eat nothing but flesh and meat. You see what I'm saying? So even when you look into the kingdom of other species and of other dynamic animals, their diets are different. What they drink is different. How they live is different. The way they approach situations is different. One hunt, one is a prey, one is a scavenger. You know, based off of their genetic disposition, based off their cosmic arrangement, based off of their physiology and how Yahweh created them, they approach life in their atmosphere very differently than others and we are a total total different people y'all and you know it if you go out in the streets you see we always get treated different we're the first ones to get killed in the streets we're the first one to go down for drug busts we're the first one to go down to sickle cell anemia leukemia hiv aids we're the number one highest when it comes to any disease we're the number one we're the uh, highest and number one when it comes to uh, incarceration so you it don't you know, you don't have to like sit around and twiddle your thumbs and come up with a eureka moment that we different. We just always focusing on how we different in a bad way. We don't never sit back and focus on how we different in a good way. How we how positive, how superior our genetics and our deoxyribose nucleic acid is. I mean, to anybody in existence, there is nothing like the black man and the black woman in existence. And I'm not being racist. I'm not talking about nobody that's not of uh, African descent. I'm not talking about nobody that's blue, black, uh, that's not blue, black, that's not don't have this melanin in them. I'm just stating scientific, simple facts. You know, uh, so-called African-Americans have nine series DNA. We talking about that Wednesday. You know, everybody else only have six series DNA. You got some animal species that got four, but we have nine series DNA. Not only that, we are the only people that is able to photosynthesize our skin tones through sun rays by way of melanin. Only people. We're the only people on planet Earth that actually have that true kinky hair that grows towards the sun in its root stage. 
you know, that grows towards the sun. You know, don't grow towards the ground. Don't fall towards the ground. Like if you truly, truly look up the genetics and how we are beautifully, wonderfully, mysteriously, and I mean, mir just miraculous. We are, we are a, a walking miracles and we don't understand it. And that's the reason why our bodies is responding to the diets the way it is. That's the reason why we're the highest when it comes to sickness, disease, and illnesses. That's the reason why we're being beat down and robbed and spoiled and killed and murdered in the streets that's the reason why your black butt can't get no loan that's the reason why your black butt get redlined that's the reason why most of y'all in public schools being taught by a different people when you don't see no other species on the earth sending their species to be taught by other species i've never seen a gorilla go to polar bear school dr sabi said that that rocked my mind i had to think about it damn i don't see polar bears teaching gorillas damn i don't see sharks teaching you know little small fish because the sharks was made to eat the fish I ain't never in my life seen a baboon go to zebra school i've never seen it in my life but time and time again when you look at the black community and the situations and the position that the black community is in everything that we need and that's essential for us unlocking the dna and becoming the true gods that we were created to be have been snatched from us and have been given to another people to give to us and they never give it to us in the right way so if we gonna question everything they give us then we have to question the diet because that is a way into your bio spiritual body the diet is the way into your bloodstream your diet is a way into your spirituality your diet is a way into your culture a diet is a way into your traditions the diet is the entryway into your sensory senses the diet the diet the diet so if you can control the food of a people then you can control their minds you can control their destinations you can control where they're going you can either send them through evolution or you can de-evolutionize them you either can progress them or you can digress them you see what i'm saying you either can grow them or you can stunt and stop their growth you either can make them repopulate or you can depopulate based off their diet because that diet is essential for all life and all living things that was made with carbon hydrogen and oxygen so so why i'm talking about this is we have been bamboozled to think certain things is good for us when it's not and then when you see the people that taught these things to our people thousands of years ago hundreds of years ago to even 20 years ago we see that it could have never been anything to free us because people certain people benefit from our downfall certain people benefit from us being psychologically enslaved certain people benefit from us not really getting high, you know, status of education. And I'm not talking about education and, 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 and social science and history and all that other bullshit. I'm talking about real education. Education is a literature or, or some type of dynamic of knowledge that can free you and your people. See, if you had right education, you will be able to apply what you have learned and you can take it back to your community and you can uplift your community and you can look back between the years of the education that you have gained and seen that the education and the knowledge that you acquired whether it's from your ancestors or another people how had how it have freed you and elevated you in your people whether that be through finances whether that be through learning technology and now people don't have to work because you have created technology to you know build the villages and all of that whether that is food where you have learned how to you know do do your own hybridization of Yahweh's food, just like they was doing back in the Egypt days. They was hybridizing their own food, you know, not the hybridization that that they that the government is doing to our food now, taking all the seeds and stuff like that out of it. I'm just talking about speeding up the process because certain famines and stuff like that was coming. True education is where you can take wisdom and knowledge and you can bring it to your village. And then based off the wisdom and knowledge that you have learned, you can actually uplift the village and you can put them further and further and further further into the future and expanding them you know expanding their consciousness ain't nobody out here trying to teach the black man and the black woman nothing like that i mean you got me and you got a few other brothers that's really out here putting in the work and you know bringing this knowledge to the people that's really uplifting the people and trying to progress them through this this time capsule or this uh dimension of densities to really really evolve them consciously but other than that ain't nobody else really trying to do that people are trying to step on the knowledge suppress the knowledge and keep the knowledge to themselves you see that so 
I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about protein. I want to really dive deep into protein. I want to dive deep into these African diets because I do identify as being an African. I have been, I identify with being a Hebraic African Israelite at that, but don't forget the African, you know, a, a lot of Hebrew Israelites tend to think that the Africans are enemies, that the Africans, you know, enslaved us. And I mean, a whole lot of things, you know, and it's even history out there that says certain things like that too, but there's a whole bunch of history that says differently. You know, a whole bunch of uh, history and I choose to, you know, with all the knowledge that I've been applying and all the knowledge and, you know, and things that I've been studying and researching and traveling and doing, I'm going to go with the majority of the research that says that we are all uh, from Africa. We are all of African descent. And it was just different groups in Africa that became certain different people, you know, and we are a specific group that became uh, Ibiru or Hebrew, uh, Bari, those who have crossed over, crossed over from the fleshly animalistic nature. And now is living where the Kandulini rise, living in the heavens of heavens, the holies of holies. You see that? And literally living with the chakras activated, not stuck in the lower nature of yourself not stuck in the solar plexus, not stuck in the root chakra, not stuck in the sacro chakra, truly living as guys as above, living in the heart chakra, living in the throat chakra, living in the third eye chakra, living in the keto or the, what they call the Christ, the Christ consciousness. So let's get to it. Before I get to that, uh, I did want to give a shout out uh, to North 7th Street. Uh, make sure y'all go check them out, please. I'm going to show y'all these shirts that they gave me. Uh, thank y'all for sending this to me. Uh, this is the website right here that is on the screen. Make sure y'all check them out, and I'm going to show y'all these shirts, y'all. These shirts are amazing. North7street.com. North7street.com. Uh, they have beautiful, beautiful clothing. This is the website. Go on it. Go check it out. Uh, black owned, of course. You know, black employees, of course. Uh, even my Caucasian followers on here. Make sure y'all go to this website and make sure that y'all really explore this stuff and start getting a lot of the merchandise. Uh, they got me something right here. Check that out on this side. Black Messiah. You see that? And I love how they got it. Black me. Messiah. And you know, y'all know that I got my own clothing line called Black Messiah Clothing. So, and then Seven Street, I got a seven with three point crowns in the middle of my head. So when I came across them uh, on Instagram, they I noticed that they had hit me up, you know, so I get in the inbox. They've been trying to send me clothes to wear and, you know, to sponsor and stuff like that. And I don't have no problem ever, 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 you know, looking out for my people, especially when they got dope ass, you know, uh, cloths and everything is 100 percent cotton. I want to show y'all even the packages and stuff that come from them is amazing so please hit them up north7street.com make sure y'all buy some shirts you know what i'm saying and look them up i'm gonna even see if we can do like a discount ya key code or something all right so uh this is the stuff the packaging look good on it you see that i mean i got some amazing stuff here so this one uh is a hoodie that says i am my ancestors y'all you know saying y'all know that's my lingo right there that's how you know that everything is in, you know, divine timing and everything always crash on this timeline because everything that I've been talking about, they got. You see that? Then you got the third eye on there. I am my ancestor. So that's dope. That's super dope. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go cap, cop one of those. And it, you, it just go on and on and on, man. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Shalom, shalom to y'all that's climbing in the building. We going to get to it. I just got to shout out. North 7th Street, I got to shout them out, you know. All black owned. Check this one out. This says black up with the black fist, the fist of unity. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go on there and y'all y'all check them out, y'all. And then here go another uh, black messiah, black messiah. And then it's another shirt, the black version of me, you know what I'm saying, which is a sweater. And And like I said, it's crazy because... I have my own movement called the Black Messiah Project. You know, a lot of y'all see me walking around with this chain for a long time and didn't know what it meant. And this is, you know, and this is basically the Black Messiah. This is my chain right here, the Black Messiah. They fear the rise of the anointed. You know what I'm saying? 22 karat gold solid. But I've been walking around rocking this. And a lot of people are like, what's that? Then I finally came out with the movement, the Black Messiah, where we've been, you know, getting a lot of people uh, connected and, you know, possessing lands and water and just all types of stuff for the calamities that's coming and you know just when you vibrating high and other people are vibrating high 
you just you all you have to you have to cross the path and they crossed that neural network uh they sponsored me hooked me up so make sure y'all go and buy something i will reach out to them tomorrow to see if we can get a little discount y'all keep cold or something going on and i uh keep y'all updated so make sure y'all here it go right above my head y'all all right, www.north7street.com. Uh, if you got positive things going and if you uplift in the black community and you have some things for sale or, you know, just anything you want to fellowship and network with the people, let me know. And if it approve and it's for the people, it's for the progression of my people, it's for the health and healing of my people. I don't care what it is. If it's to bring us forth and to unify us, I will promote it uh, to my following. All right. With that being said, if y'all ready to get everything started, y'all type in some nines and we finna go in on this protein. If y'all ready to get everything started, y'all type in some nines and we gonna go in on this protein. Type in them nines. If you can hear me well and if you can see me well, type in some sevens and let's get it. Let's get it going. That's that's right. Antonio Perez. Peace. God, how you feeling? How you feeling? That's right. Shalom. Shalom. www.north7street.com. That is the website. That is the website. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, now the reason why, you know, I'm really want to talk about this today is because, you know, when whenever I'm out teaching somebody uh, or whenever somebody get a, a, a grips or grabs of my conversation and find out that I'm plant-based and find out that I'm mostly uh, frugivore, I'm mostly fruitarian and I juice a lot and, you know, I don't eat animal proteins. They find out that I don't, you know, eat any type of lactose. I don't drink milk. You know, if it come from an animal, I don't want no parts of it. The first thing that they tell me is like overnight, they become damn biochemists you know what i'm saying I ain't never had a lick in biochemistry don't know nothing about the chemical composition or the makeup of anything but the moment that they hear that you do not eat meat or you don't get down with the animal flesh the first thing they gonna say is well what about your proteins and, and you know me i just be like because i don't like arguing with negroes no more i just be like what about it i let them dig them themselves in, in their own hole all right and so the first thing i ask them what about it what is a protein? What is protein made of? You just got to drill them, drill them down till they be like, I don't know. And then now it's time to be like, okay, so since you don't know, then why did you feel the need to regurgitate that dumbass question to me when you don't even know what a protein is? Huh? You don't even know what it is. So thinking about that and, and just for my love and respect to my people, we finna show and prove what a protein is, where proteins come from and how bad it is to the body. And, you know, when you get to this African diet, we're going to have to talk about beans. We're going to have to talk about rice and we're going to talk about these grains, too, because these things are full of starch and full of gnarly proteins that are killing the people. So. Whenever you get into a protein, protein, I don't even like the name protein because a protein is nothing but a complex amino acid structure. All right. So then when you look up what amino acid is, amino acid is a group of polypeptide chains. And what these polypeptides amino acid do is these acids holds a bunch of information of genetic codes. These acids hold a bunch of information of your genetic spirit, spiritual lineage too. I mean, amino acids are very, very, very spiritual and these genetic codes they come together in different sequences to create certain things so you might get a, a certain amino acid codes with a, a tritryptophan with a cinnamonine in it and just different types of amino acid and that would create a nose or you can switch these things up and it will create an ear. You can switch these things up and it create hair follicles. The same one switched up in a different frequency or sequence, it creates fingernails. You see that? But it only creates these things when they come together and they form a structure. That's what you call amino acid structures. When they form the structures, they call them proteins. But we're going to change the name of it because whenever I see them calling something proteins, these are complex amino acid structures. Now, what holds amino acids together is is what you call minerals. But before the body can actually choose the minerals or what we're going to call essential trace minerals to the body, like calcium, copper, gold, zinc, selenium, these things come together do by plants, the same thing as amino acids. You would never find an amino acid. Every living creature on planet Earth get so-called proteins from plants. Even animals get proteins from plants, which is going to make me ask the biggest question of all, because I used to be in a streets and i used to sell a little whoppy wop here and there the whole thing is to always cut out the middleman we don't want a middleman we want to go straight to the source so if all things all living things get their proteins from plants from the botanical coroplats or chlorophyll 
kingdom, then why do we feel we have to eat animals to get the protein from them when they got it from the actual plants in the first place? When we can cut the animals out, we can keep them living there. Uh, uh, they're uh, ecological because they're they're a part of the uh, the uh, the ecological system. They can keep living their purpose, they purposefulist life cultivating the land helping us bring carbon dioxide to the plants for the plants can give us oxygen and photosynthesis and melanin and everything else and we can go straight to the botanical kingdom and get our proteins from the source and not killing an innocent animal spilling its innocent blood being very fucking barbaric in nature and killing ourselves in the end anyway because i mean potentially you die from the acidosis that these systemic polypeptides bring and how gnarly they is to the chemistry of the body when well, you can go get them actually from your plant kingdom it don't make no sense especially and most of us from the streets you know how we love to cut out the middleman except when it comes to animals huh <laughs> But anyway, so uh, a chain of amino acids is made of information. This information is made up of your genetic code, your genetic structure. These things is actually what makes up your DNA. What sticks amino acids together is called minerals. For those that follow me, been following me from years and been through my lectures, y'all know what mineral mean. Mineral is actually a Hebraic African language. And men actually means from or means the light in Hebrew and all means from above. So men are raw. I mean, or means light from above and all mean from above. So men means from or means light. All means above men are raw means come from the light above. So a mineral is nothing but a fragmented, uh, a, a tonic atom or particle that actually comes from the sun. And you need minerals because minerals go inside the body and convey electricity throughout the electric etheric body. Because remember you're electrical, you're etheric, you're a God made of melanin. And we're going to talk about that. And what it does is when it goes inside the bio spiritual body and it goes through its metabolic enzymic reactions, these things turns into salt and salt act as a electrical glue that sticks amino acids together. So you got amino acids and then you got the minerals, the minerals bring and bind the amino acids together. And then you have a nitrogen base that hit the backbone and what stands on the backbone of the nitrogen base is called pinto sugar. And this sugar is basically your deoxygen. You know and I mean, or your, your, your ribose, and that's all ribose is, is a sugar. So if you, even when you get down and you start looking at DNA, notice the balance in chemistry. Notice the judgment in chemistry, what the Bible call it. Notice the ma'at in chemistry, what the comedic brothers and sisters call it. It all brings balance because you don't only have nitrogen, you don't only have acids, amino acids, but you have to have your base chemistry or what you call carbon or melanin and sugars there too. And that's what creates life. OK, now the problem is with protein, especially protein that comes from an animal is this. Whenever you eat anything, I don't care what it is, it has to go through a metabolic process. And this metabolic metabolic process is burning fuel through enzymic reactions because it has to go through a process for these things to be utilized. Because remember, amino acids are essential building blocks for for cells. The body is made of cells, right? One hundred and fifty trillion cells at that. And then if if you look at how cells are made, these cells then make different organs. These organs then make different systems and these systems then make all the functioning systems of the body. And then this is what creates a full grown adult, a human being, an infant baby, whatever you want to call us. You see that? But notice it was all predicated upon cells. Well, amino acids is what builds cells. Cells clunking themselves together in structure function form is what creates the organs and the systems in a full grown human being. So we can potentially say that amino acids is the building block the building blocks to life right that's what amino acid is them put together is the building blocks of life all right so that's what it is now what i want to show y'all is this if all amino acids come from plants which by the way they did they do and we can actually pull up some things that show that if y'all want to you know it ain't nothing to get out here and just really start pulling out some information that show these things because i like i notice y'all like to see this stuff coming from other people uh other than me other than me so we can you know we can we can pull this stuff up real fast let's pull it up let's pull it up give me one second and we're gonna pull it up on the screen we're gonna show and tell we're gonna show and tell all right bing here go another one here go one right here y'all see this it says plants uses the same 20 amino acids as humans to build their protein. The genetic code is universal. All animals. Let me blow this up for y'all and y'all can look this up. Y'all here, here go the website. I never hide sources from any of y'all. Okay. I don't, I don't hide sources. I don't even move like that. 
Now check this out. Check out what it's saying. It says plants use the same 20 amino acids as humans to build their proteins. The genetic code is universal. All animals ultimately get their protein from plants. You see that? All animals. All animals ultimately get their protein from plants or plant like phytoplankton. Planktons. It says either directly or indirectly through the food chain. So it shows you that all amino acid structures come from the plant kingdom. We do not get plants, fruits, vegetables, and just the botanical kingdom enough props, y'all. Without the plants, we would not be here because the plants is actually what's taking nitrogen from the soil and from the crust of the ground through its process called iron through its process called photosynthesis, conveying it into chlorophyll and chloroplasts, which is nothing but melanin, and then it is feeding up. Us. We eat these things, and then another thing that plants do, they breathe in uh, CO2 constituents, which is nothing but the chemical composition of light, or what they call carbon, and it breathes in this carbon dioxide, and it exhale oxygen for us to breathe in and breathe back out carbon dioxide for them to breathe back in. So it's like a... It's like a sexual uh, uh, char charisma. It's like a, a balancing vibrational frequency that we got going on between the sun, the moon, and the plants in the atmosphere. So without us, the sun and the plants wouldn't exist. Without the sun and the plants, we wouldn't exist. Without the sun, the plants wouldn't exist. Without us, the, the moon wouldn't exist. All of us are accounted for. We are all a part of this ecological system. We all a part of this ecosystem. So, so it behooves us to make sure that we are inside of the food chain properly, that we're utilizing what Yahweh created here inside this environment properly and all of that. So we see that all amino acids and all proteins come from plants. So now what I want to talk about is this. Whenever you eat an amino acid, the body have to go through a metabolic process to actually utilize the amino acids, especially when it talks about the liver and you start talking about the pancreas and all of its 4,000 enzymic reactions that happen through the pancreas. You started talking about the gallbladder and just the making of bowels and basal salts. So the body, once the body take in the amino acids, the body have to structure these amino acids and wanted to know where it's going to go because it's going to go build new things. So say if uh, I just damage my skin and I eat amino acids, it's not going to go towards rebuilding the serotonin in my gut again. It's going to go straight towards a damaged area to rebuild that tissue for structure functioning. Well, the thing is, do you get that from plants? Say if an uh, animal go and eat the amino acids and it already utilized all the amino acid it need for its structure and function, for its weaknesses and genetic dispositions, then you go and kill that animal and then you go and put that animal on your barbecue grill or put it inside your skillet and you cook that animal or even if you eat it raw. You are not even getting the essential amino acids and proteins that you needed from the plants because it had already been metabolized and converted into something that was already in use for the animals so not only are you using secondhand amino acids and secondhand proteins you are using putrefied proteins that's already been burnt up and utilized for energy and structure function so you don't even get nothing from it anyways y'all literally you're not getting nothing from it y'all see what i'm saying nothing whatsoever <laughs> nothing if y'all get that so far let's keep it going and i'm gonna say that again Whenever you eat an animal and you eat it for protein, you need your protein, Ock. You need your protein, brother. You need your protein, sister. Not minding you, half the people that come to us has been on these high keto, high protein diets and kidneys are damaged because the body is impossible for the body to break down its acidic protein because proteins are protons and protons, all it does inside of an atom is try to chase around the damn electron and borrow a charge from it. Electron is the woman, the proton is the man, the man chasing the, run, the woman around in the, in the world or the universe or what they call the atom, trying to borrow charges from it. And then once it borrows charges, it leaves the electron neutralized now the electron cannot put electricity or alkalize the body and you die of the own acidosis from the proteins and all of the byproducts of metabolizing the proteins and not to mention proteins can't be metabolized by the body anyway because the hydrocaloric acid inside of your stomach is not even hot enough to break down these complex amino acid structures why is it why is that because you are essentially a prokaryotic cell you're eating waste. Whenever you eat an animal and you're eating it for protein consumption, you're eating protein that have already been utilized. You're eating waste. You're eating waste. 
Not to mention you're a procreatic cell. You are not a eukaryotic cell. You see that we done hitched this eukaryotic cell within the last, what, 50,000 years. And I'm not talking about the Adam and Eve creation of 6,000 years ago. There were worlds way before that, and it's in the Bible. We, the black man have been on earth since forever. And there is no beginning nor end to forever, if y'all know what I mean. There is no beginning or end to that timeline. We are etheric, eternal, essential beings. There have always been the black man, always was the black man, and forever will be the black man. Because we was created in the image and the likeness of our father and of our mother. The mother, the rock, Hakodesh. Our father is who is over the Elohim, who we call Yahweh. Or if you even break down Yahweh, this is made of male and female principles. All balance, all my odd. Whenever we get done talking about this, you have always and forever will be. There will never be an end to you. There's only an end to this time capsule or this dimensional density and this damn skin that we in. But as soon as you leave this body, guess what you're going? You're going into another body, into another dimension. And you're going to do this forever and ever and ever and ever because you are God experiencing itself throughout its creation. Now, when you're in these different worlds of densities, when you're in these different dimensions, this shit come with universal laws and rules, y'all, and your black ass been breaking all of them, and one of them, we're going to talk about the diet. You think that it is actually okay for you to go kill the innocent creatures and feast on its flesh and on its blood, and you think that you're going to get life from that. No, you're not. You're going to get death and acidic blowbacks from that because you're eating utilized proteins that have already been used up by the plants and things that they have been eating. Then these things get inside of your body, and it is so complex, and you're a procreatic cell, not a eukaryotic cell with organelles. You evolve from procreatic cells or what they call prokaryotes, which is inside of black women's wounds and if you check pro -serious, they don't even come from earth they come from the cosmos they say this shit just landed on earth by a rock showing you that we are the extraterrestrial beings here on this earth then you're going to need extraterrestrial food now we start to start looking at what extraterrestrial food is and when you get down to the chemical compositions, it's going to be your fruits and it's going to be your plants. It's not going to be your beans. It's not going to be your grains. And it damn sure ain't going to be your animal's flesh. The animals are here for a purpose and it is not to be on your dinner table, black man, black woman. These are your brothers and sisters. Do y'all get what I'm saying so far? So you're eating the byproduct. And then if you look at what protein is made out of and you see how it's just killing the people. Now, I'm going to show you all this real fast. So we have already talked about what a protein is. A protein is an amino acid. So we say that proteins are building blocks. So if you look at it, you know, when you let, just get into, you know, uh, Dr. Morse, uh, when you get into Dr. Lailela Africa, they always use the house analogy. So I'm going to use the house analogy as well. So these are essentially your proteins. All right. So proteins are building blocks. We're going to say that the whole entire cellular structure of the whole entire body is the house. In order to build the house, you need protein or what they call building material. We're going to call this building material or what they call amino acids building material. So you see, we got the bricks. That's an amino acid, a different one. Say that one is tritryptophan. Say we got the four, the two by fours. We're going to say this is L-lysine. Uh, then we got the chimney and the stout. We're going to say this is arginine. You see that? Then you got phenylalanine. You got all these different amino acids or building material. And then when we put these building materials together, it starts forming a structure, right? Let me show y'all the structure. So we got that. So whenever you look at amino acids, just think about it as building materials, two by fours, uh, uh, nails and all this other shit, right? Then you start building these amino acids. Now you're starting to get a structure function. All right. So now we're starting to see the DNA being built. Now we're starting to see the body being built. You see what I'm saying? So now the amino acids is taking form. Now I want to show you how important sugars is. Sugars is so important because now you're going to have to say in order to have this building material, we're going to need somebody to build this building material. And that's what your sugars are. And then, you know, the, the minerals act as the nails and paint. That's what's going to stick the two by fours together. The brick and the mortar. The mortar acts as, you know, the minerals. That's what's going to put a brick on top of a brick and stick the brick together. When you need to frame a, a wall and put hang a door, all of these different shingles and all these different uh, uh, joints, all these different hammers and stuff like that, that's the minerals that's sticking the building materials together to create the home. But... 
What's very, very essential is the blueprint. And this is a blueprint to build a home. This blueprint will be the DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid. You see that? So this is the building uh, uh, blueprint. And the blueprint is the DNA. Now, I told you what was a part of DNA. What's a part of DNA is the sugars, which is very, very important, especially when we're talking about glucose and fructose, which we're going to get into, and the amino acids, all right? Not complex amino acids. Complex amino acids is like having, you know, building a material that you don't understand it's too complex you can't even figure this shit out you done read through the instruction manual so many times and it's just too much and you get done building and you got leftover material you got left it's so complex in its structure you got leftover amino acids the body can't break it down and use it it already utilized what it need it needed that from the emmanuel the uh, enamel on your teeth emmanuel on your teeth it needed that for for that bone that just broke it needed that for them fingernails that just broke off it needed that from when you bust your lip it needed that from when you was riding your bike and you skinned your knee so all the amino acids that you need is already utilized but now you got all of these leftover amino acids because you're eating proteins from animals which is completely complex and it's just all types of leftover shit then what you gonna do with the building material you're just gonna leave it outside you're gonna leave it in the house and these things start rotting away collecting dust collecting uh, uh termites collecting all types of parasites and you wonder why acid coming in when you eating all these proteins you wonder why all these different parasites coming in when you eating all these proteins because you got leftover genetic material that's just sitting inside of your cellular structure rotting away and putrefying Putif putrif uh, putrefying sticking in it's starting to rot away now check this out because it gets deep y'all let me show y'all this so now now we starting to get into where you call you know the sugars the sugars will be your essential workers that's where your energy is coming in at so the sugars is coming in and it's putting you know all the energy into showing the amino acids how to stick themselves together by way of the nails by way of the minerals you see that? And it shows you how essential sugar is because without sugar, you ain't got no construction workers to put your amino acids together or your building blocks. So without workers, you ain't going to have no damn house. Without the workers, you ain't going to have no bio-spiritual body to walk around and experience its creation in. Showing you that sugar is essential for the amino acids or building blocks to build the actual physical structure that we're going to call the house. So the sugars is the contractors, the workers. The minerals is the nails. You see that? The minerals is the the the, the hangers, the, the hedges. And then the amino acids, what we're going to call the proteins, is the building material. You put all three together, you got you a beautiful house. You got you a beautiful house. And this is how this house supposed to look. When it's, oh, no, my bad. That's another one. Let me show you this beautiful house. Hold on, where the beautiful house at? And this is how this beautiful house look whenever everything in your body is working properly and you're not actually eating proteins that are coming from the wrong type of foods. An animal is not the way, I'm telling y'all. Now, say you get complex amino acid structures, right? And this is what the sugars in the worker is going to do. It's going to be too much leftover protein and you start getting stuff like this. This is nothing but cancers and tumors because you had too many bricks laid over. You had too many building blocks of creation left over. Too much proteins, high protein diets, animal proteins diet, all these uh, workout powder proteins. You see that? All of these lactose based proteins. Now you got tumors and you got things building because you have too many building blocks left over. So now it just look like you see how ugly the house look because they have too much building material because it was too much complex amino acids inside the body. The body don't know how to utilize that and know what to do with it. So what it does, it isolate the chemistry and it isolate itself. Have y'all ever seen isolated proteins? That's what you call tumors. That's what you call fibroids. That's what you call cysts. That's what you call styes. That's what you call lipomas. Do I, should I keep going? Huh? Should I keep going? You see what I'm saying? That's what they look like. And then now the proteins are trying their hardest by the liver and by the gallbladder to function themselves right. So it starts looking like this, an ugly ass house. House just built on top of each other. Deranged proteins. And this is what you call cancerous tumors. All types of amino acids that ain't supposed to go together are now going together because you on high protein diets and the body don't know what to do with all these proteins from the animals that you eating, from the beans that you eating, from the grains that you eating. So it just put the shit together how the best that it gets to the best that it can. You see that? It just put it together the best that it can. Y'all get that? 
I hope y'all reading this. All right, y'all see that? So most of your proteins come from plants, y'all. Most of your proteins come from plants. Now, I just want to start showing y'all some things. Let's start reading up on stuff like this. Now, when you actually start getting into proteins, there are deadly chemicals inside these proteins. For one of them, let's talk about beans. Whenever you get into beans and whenever you get into animal protein and, and whenever you get into, you know, different types of grains, they come with something called lectins. I've been teaching y'all about lectins for the last six years. You see, and let's start reading what it's talking about. Lectins are defined as proteins that bind to carbohydrates. Notice what these proteins do. These proteins want to bind to carbon because it needs a positive, I mean, a negative positive charge. And that's the reason why when you study biochemistry, you will always see the protein or the proton running around the atom trying to, to avoid the neutron to grab a, a charge from the electron. You see, just like men chase women now, same thing that we do in, on a cellular biochemistry structure, always trying to borrow a charge from the woman instead of being our own charge. And then this actually digressed the, the infinite spirit or the effeminate spirit or what we're going to call electron inside the cell. And now the alkaloid or the alkali is now have been depleted of all of this oxygen. And this is where acids build up. So now you got all the acids building up and putrefaction actually setting in because the protein is going to begin to rot. The protein is going to begin to become eroded. Erosion sets in. You see that? Now check this out. And, now, and for that, the plants. All Then this is the beautiful thing about plants, y'all. The beautiful thing about plants is this. Plants are so smart and plants are so etheric and so intelligent that the part of the plants that you are not supposed to be eating create deadly chemicals that will tear your ass up and one of these chemicals are called lectins you see that one of these chemicals are called lectins now let me show y'all how amazing plants are plants don't do this when it comes to the reproductive part like the flesh of fruits plants don't do this when it comes to certain leaves but plants do create cellulose which is another protective mechanism showing you naturally that your black butt is a frugivore because when you bite into the apple the apple ain't got that in it but if you bite into the apple seeds, the apple seeds have neurotoxins in it. If you bite into the soursop flesh, it's very good for you. But if you eat that soursop seed, you would die of, of neurotoxins, of, of cytotoxins, cytoplasma, and the endometrium sperm of, of the actual seed. I mean, the endocrine sperm. So, so it shows you, even when you get to the, the process of breaking down the chemistry of the plants that we're supposed to be eating, it is certain type of chemicals inside of certain different areas and parts of the plants that is bad for the body, showing you that the plant is telling you, don't eat my seeds, certain of them. Don't eat certain of my roots. Don't do that. Don't eat certain of my leaves. Eat the yielding production part, which is a fruit. Otherwise, I'm going to go in and I'm going to tear up every damn microbiota inside of your duodenum. I'm going to tear it. I'm going to tear up your digestive tract. I'm going to give you fevers. I'm going to give you rashes. I'm going to give you hives. I'm going to give you allergies because you eating the wrong part of me. Because just like the animals want to live, I want to live too. You can eat me. Just make sure you save the reproductive part on me and, and keep certain of my roots and stems in the ground for next for the next time in my, when my season come, I can resurrect and regrow. This is how smart plants is. So, and, and one of these chemicals that I'm talking about is actually called a lectin. Now let's read about what a lectin is. It says lectins are defined as proteins, proteins. Notice there's nothing good about protein. Protein is nitrates. Protein is nitrogen based. Proteins is acidic. You have two sides of nature. You have carbon and you have nitrogen. Carbon is melanin. That's sugar. That's fructose. That's glucose. That's pentose. That's, that's ribose, nucleics. You see that? Then you have the acid side of chemistry. That's your nitrogen. That's your protons. That is your proteins. That is your amino acids. You see that? When you bring them together in simple form, they form a powerhouse. But when you do too much of either or and bring them together, it creates an atomic bomb and it will kill your ass. That's what they do. That's why you get starch. Starches are sugars, y'all. Starch is very, very bad for the body, but that is a complex polysaccharide. Too many sugars, poly many, saccharide sugar. 
You see that? A protein is complex amino acid structures. Simple amino acids is good. It creates the DNA. But complex amino acids that form proteins, that shit is gnarly to the body. The body can't even break it down. You don't have enough hydrochloric acid inside of your stomach that's going to create pepsinogen to create pepsin to actually even break these things down. So what it does is stay inside of the physical mechanism and it rots and it breaks down the cells. So potentially you violate nature and eat the animals. The, nat- the animals then break down in your body you can't process them outside the body so they break down and become gnarly chemistry and then they kill you you eat the animal the animal byproducts eat you that don't happen when you do plants that do not happen when you do plants you see that so let me read it again y'all know i'll be explaining i'll just be too passionate my bad y'all it says uh, lectins are defined as proteins that binds to carbohydrates the same features that lectins use to define plants in nature may cause problems during human digestion they tear up your digestional tract so many of our people have digestive system uh, problems and don't know it's because you're eating the wrong food that they have ordained to you that have been healthy africa is on so many beans and rice when that is some of the most worst shit of foods to ever even give our people it says they resist being broken down see that they resist being broken down it actually is a plant protective part it says in the gut and are stable to acidic environments see that they're very acidic in nature and in chemistry it says features that protect lectin containing plants in nature see that so not only that you got resin too now red ricin ricin is a deadly plant ricin will kill your ass and that's a deadly chemical that plants have usually like poke root, uh, castro, uh, 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 castro, uh, beans. And it's certain beans that have ricin in it. And this is a protective part because if you actually look at what a bean is, a bean can either be testicles, a bean can either be a plant ovary, a bean can be a plant embryo. It, it's so many, the legume family, all these things are different parts of the plant that's supposed to grow and sprout before you eat it. So the plant is smart enough or Yahweh is just all divine intelligence was just he's so intelligent it's so intelligent that it put chemicals inside of these different foods to protect the plant for it can actually grow and become food to us because a bean is not food in a bean state it's an embryo it is a ovary it's a testicle in a bean state that's why they say sprout your beans then you start looking at half of these beans half of these beans was created in holland dr sebi was right about that when a lot of these was created three to four hundred years ago in holland and you can trace these things back with certain books and then grains grains was not made for human consumption if you if, if you even see a horse or you start seeing cows and we have footage of this stuff y'all they eat grains to the point where their body will become so stiff and lock up because grains actually create a chemical compound that creates this sticky like substance that is very very bad for the body because it sticks your cells together same thing as proteins does it sticks your cells together it acts like a glue inside the body that's not electrical at all and it brings on a mucosal response do y'all understand what I'm saying? If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. And look, y'all, y'all, y'all not hearing this just from y'all key. I'm finna pull up all types of different articles. Y'all see where it's come from? Lactins, the nutrient source. This come from Harvard uh, education. This come from uh, this come from Harvard. This don't come from me. And notice what's on the side of these grains and oats and all this other stuff. I'm not making none of this stuff up, y'all. I'm not making none of this stuff up. I'm not. I mean, it's just, it is what it is at this point. It's just like, when are we going to start listening? Then you start looking at this. Check this out. And this this article was in March uh, 4 of, of 2014, talking about cell metabolism and how bad proteins is for the body. Could too much protein put you in a path towards an early grade? And this is showing and proving that a protein, animal protein diet, or eating wrong proteins like bang, uh, beans and, and different types of grains and stuff will have your ass in the early deathbed. I'm not making this stuff up. It says for middle aged people to consume lots of meat, milk and cheese. That's why it's very important to go plant based, not vegan. Vegan is a deadly diet as well. Vegan will kill you just as much as these other diets because down they mix in glyco uh, protein. They prolact. I mean, all types of stuff is in these laboratories and they making all these different fake meats and putting all these soy products in it. All this atrazine, these gender bender chemical properties. And you wonder why when men go vegan, they get very feminine when men go vegan. And they start having homosexual thoughts because they're eating too much of these uh, soy-based chemistries that's giving them gender-bender properties. 
You see what I'm saying? It's the food. The food is feeding the body the wrong information. So now you are acting like an amphibian and you're looking at other your same sex and you're starting to find them attractive. It's from the food because the food is holding the information. Straight up, y'all. We done prove. I already did. Uh, uh, what's the name on this, y'all? Hold on. Let me plug this uh, computer up before it go dead. Give me a second, y'all. My bad, I ain't even know that uh, I ain't have it plugged up. I'm tripping. I'm straight up tripping. All right, we all good, family. We back. I'm back. I'm back. All right. Now, check this out. So, this is talking about for middle age, for middle aged people who consume lots of meat, never eat meat, milk, never drink milk, cheese. Do not do that. Because you are, all cheese is, is the broken down lymphatic system and blood pus that come from these different animals. It says, uh, da, da, da. it says the answer could be yes. According to a study published, this is a published study. I mean, they went through the actual trials. They went through the process of this study Tuesday in the journal cell metabolism. It says U S and, it- and, and Italian researchers tracked thousands of adults during nearly two decades and found that those who ate a high diet, a diet high in animal proteins during middle age were four times more likely to die of cancer because these proteins are cancerous cause. And I just showed y'all how they cause it. You see that? Y'all see that? Then contemporary uh, with low protein diets, a risk factor to, if accurate, comparable to smoking. See that? So if you eating protein, you might as well smoke 20 damn cigarettes a day. Now, remember what I said with amino acids. If you take in too many amino acids and it's, it's very complex, what happens is you leave over building material. And this building material can't be metabolized by the cells or by the body. So what it does is it forms structures and it start looking like this. Don't that look out of place? You got all these different amino acids in place, but now you got amino acids that can't be utilized because you're eating the wrong already synthesized amino acids from animal proteins and not from your fruits and not from your vegetables. So you bring in these already used amino acids. The body can't use them. The hydrochloric acid inside the stomach can't break them down. So now it just agglomulate and coagulate and creates these different mutation cells. And now apoptosis and cellular mitosis starts to take its effect and now you forming tumors and you forming cancer now mucus come in and mucus is a defense system but since you haven't changed your diet excessive mucus is going to build up inside of the system so what happens is this mucus then starts depriving the cells that's already mutated and damaged of oxygen so now since the cell is depleted of 66 percent of its oxygen they call it cancer and that's what cancer look like unused building material that's all it looks like. Or it'll use it and, and build it the best that it can, and then you start getting real ugly structures like this. Look how ugly that is. It's just a bunch of amino acids topped on a bunch of amino acids put back on a bunch of amino acids that can't be utilized or synthesized by the body. But y'all telling me, what about your protein, Yaki? I overheard the conversation that you was having with the young lady, and uh, you said you was plant-based. So I just got one question for you. What are you doing for protein? It's like if y'all don't get on with that protein myth, it is a myth. It is a myth. I you can't tell me one, one good thing protein is good for in the body. I'll wait. I'll wait with a stimulant. Yeah, it will stimulate the tissues because, and the only reason why it stimulates the tissues and you get that uh, factor from it and you want to do a thousand push-ups and bench press and box and run 20,000 miles, it's because it's a stimulant. You are literally taking on all of the, 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 uh, 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 melanin neurotransmitters from the actual proteins from the animal dying. Soon as the animal was walking down to the slaughterhouse, it started releasing all types of epinephrine and neuroepinephrine. Have y'all seen an EpiPen? If your heart stop, they pump you with the EpiPen, you're going to get up running. 
Or it got all types of adrenochrome and adrenaline in it, which puts you in a fight or flight state because it knew that it was on its way to the slaughterhouse to be killed. So you are eating feared meat, stressed meat, meat was stressed the fuck out before you ate it. And you like, man, protein, I get high off of protein. It gives me a stimulant. I get my testosterone. You acting like a full grown gorilla and it's, it's stimulating the tissue cells because it is full of all types of adrenaline and adrenochrome and epinephrine and irinephrine, neuroepinephrine from the animal being scared as hell on its way to the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered for you to eat it. Of course you're going to be stimulated, but guess what happens with stimulants? See that? The high got to come down. It's a stimulant. This is false positive energetics. This is false positive uh, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ADP, adenosine ditriphosphate. See that? This is this is false. So you're going to come down, and when it comes down, it's going to hit you. And when it hits you, you start forming these type of systems, these type of tumors from it. Just saying, y'all. Just saying. If y'all get everything I'm saying so far, type in some nines. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nat Turner. When that high comes down, it's a crash. Now you crash and you don't even know why. You show sure right about that, brother. Show sure right about that. If y'all get what I'm saying so far. Type in some nines. We're going to keep this thing going. We're going to keep this thing going. And, you know, we're going to open up the phone lines and all of that for y'all, of course. We're going to do that. Then the crazy thing is you hear most of the dumbest things when it's really start talking about sugar. Sugar is bad. Sugar feeds cancer cells. Sugar, sugar feed all cells. Sugar is essential. Carbon is essential to life. Without carbon, there will be any life. Carbon is melanin. You have to have carbon. That's what sugar is. Carbon constituent chains. That's what sugar is. You need carbon. Every food you eat is going to break down. It's not going to even utilize them proteins if you already got too many proteins in the body. But guess what it's going to utilize? Everything you eat breaks down into fructose or glucose. Everything you eat is going to find the fructose and glucose because the body can't use it, anything else for energy. So, of course, it's going to grow any cell in the body, whether you call it cancer cells, all of that. The, the whole thing is not quit worried about a sugar going to grow it or not. Worried about the healing modalities that's going to get these wrong building materials outside of the body. You see that? Worry about what's going to really push it outside of the body. That's what you need. You can't do none of that without sugar. You can't even build amino acid structures without sugar. Remember, your sugar is your essential workers. Do, do, do we need to go back to it? You see these two by fours that's building a house? That is your amino acids. You see the nails that they're putting inside of those? That is your minerals. But guess what these essential workers is that's putting this whole house together? That is your carbon. That is your sugars. But sugar is bad. Too much sugar cause diabetes. No, it don't. You talking about these processed sugars. You talking about bleach white sugar. You talking about bleach white flowers. You talking about destrose. You talking about all these different type of sucrose, high uh, uh, fructose corn syrup. You talking about processed cooked sugars. We're talking about natural occurring sugars in your fruits and vegetables. We're not talking about neurotoxins that's been banned from Singapore, that's been banned from South Mexico, all these wrong sugars that's killing the body, causing diabetes, shutting down the pancreas, causing the blood to actually clunk up, putting down the pancreas and causing the islands of Langerhans and the beta cells not to produce insulin. We ain't talking about them type of sugars. We're talking about the natural occurring sugars that grows naturally, that's produced naturally by your fruits and your vegetables. You need those sugars. Everything you eat in life break down to them sugars. The body can't use anything else for energy. You eat a hamburger, that body's going to go through a, a process of breaking all of that down, and even the fake amino acids because it's been utilized by the cow that you killed to eat the hamburger, so it ain't going to use that. That's just going to store up in the kidneys and lock down the kidneys and keep the kidneys from filtrating right and, and backing up the interstitial fluid in your cells and burning every damn cell in your body. That's all the meat part, gonna, the protein part going to do. But guess what? It's going to break down all them glucose factors from all them grains and from all of that stuff that you use the beef the cow up with all that grass and hay and grains that that cow ate it's going to break through that cellulose and break through that starch and then it's going to break it down into simple glucose and then the cell is going to use the glucose that you got from the hamburger to actually feed the cells to give the cells atp adenosine triphosphate for energy for you can live a life of vitality it ain't going to use the proteins it damn sure ain't going to use the taste it ain't going to use the epinephrine and the neuroepinephrine it might use that to you know have a good high for a minute a stimulant but then the crash is going to come so you're 
eating all this complex amino acid foods, eating all these complex polysaccharides, these complex sugars, and your body is not using none of that anyway. The body don't even use complex sugars. The body hates starch. Starch is nothing but cellulose. The shit is full of acids. Full of it. And it make you fat because it stores up into fatty tissues inside the liver. And then it uses it to burn off the energy when you run out of energy. You are procreatic cell family. You need simple foods because you are made of simple amino acids and you are made to structure function by simple minerals and you get vitality and energy by simple sugars. Notice how many simples I just use. Simple, simple, simple. You are simplistic when in, in your creation. I mean, it's very finite and it's very complex in its way because you are God. You, have, you literally got fit five bodies fifth dimensional bodies merged into one by way of your, your 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 intrinsic nervous system your cardiovascular nervous system and your central nervous system when we talk about serotonin and melatonin and melatonin how 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 i mean you're very very beautifully made i mean you're essential being you're a god body from the non-ether but it's simple though you're a procreatic cell have you ever heard of the 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 black mother her name was henrietta lax Henrietta Lacks, look her up. She actually had procreate, procreates inside of her womb. They took her placenta, and her placenta been healing people for years. I mean, many years, and they did it without uh, they did it without letting her know. And they named the cells Hilla cells, Hilla cells, and these cells haven't died yet. They just keep reproducing because they full of uh, procreatic cells, and they they don't know where this genetic material come from. Well, what if I told you that every black woman have these same type of genetic cells or these cosmic cells or this cosmic energy this this co inside of her womb yeah i don't want to talk about that now we are truly extraterrestrial so we're going to need extraterrestrial foods foods that is made to sustain and thrive ourselves we need to create the environment that our cells was made to thrive in to expand in and we're not doing it because we're eating all the foods that everybody else eat i have yet to see i have yet to see a uh, 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 damn uh, 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 damn uh, parakeet bird go and eat roadkill. Just like I have yet to see a vulture soaring over the sky looking at a berry like, damn, that berry on that tree look good. That berry bush look amazing. Guess what the vulture looking for? He looking for animal roadkill. He want to eat the guts out of something. I've, I have yet to see that. Yet to see that. I have yet to see I have yet to see a gorilla chase down a zebra and eat the guts out of it while it's still alive. I have yet to see that. I have yet to see a lion go sniff on an apple tree and eat apples. Oh my God. The lion thinking in the this apple is damn good. I've never seen that. Because these are two different species and they have two different geno pools and two different genetical information foods. So they eat two different things and they will never cross each other's paths eating the same thing. You're the only species that eat what everybody else eat. You're the only one. And you wonder why you so sick. You are a frugivore. Let me say it again. You or a frugivore. You are a fruitarian. Even the plants that show you, like we was just talking about, with lactins, with ricin, with all these other different phosphorus backbone groups, you ain't supposed to be eating it. Some seeds will kill you. Some seeds have so many cyanide and neurotoxins in them naturally because you're not supposed to be eating the seed because the seed is going to sprout and become, some, become something good for you to eat. Same thing with a lot of these different vegetables. Like kale, you can't eat kale without a juicer. You have to break through all that nasty cellulose because that cellulose is full of something called amulose. The amulose is full of a different one called amniprotein. The amniprotein is full of something that is so, so complex in starch that the body can't even break it down. You can't even use it for energy. All I'm saying is this, y'all. This is all I'm saying. If we just will eat right, and will put away the lies and the indoctrinations that we have been taught, y'all. We will live long lives and we will live long, happy lives. We will live long lives and long, happy lives. Straight up. And that's all I'm saying. And that's all I'm saying. And look, this is proven. I don't need no book to tell me differently. This has been proven. Protein is killing our people, y'all. Straight up. Milk is killing our people. Do y'all know what the number one cause of asthma is and all these different types of bronchial inflammation uh, diseases is caused by lactose? Do you know what lactose is? That is sugar and pus that is created by your milk. We don't want to talk about that, though. 
the kidney bean. The kidney beans out, it kills kidneys. Y'all think it is called a kidney beans because it's good for the kidney and it's shaped like a kidney. These evil bastards probably named it a kidney bean because it will shut your kidneys down. Full of phytic acid. These gnarly grains full of starch makes glue. Y'all can Google it. Wait, look, wait till tomorrow when I come out with this. Let, boy, them grains ain't good for you. Full of starch. It glues the body. To, it, it Carbohydrates, many sugars, complex sugars. Huh? Yeah, carbonic acid. That's what they create. Your meats. All that uric acid inside of that. Phytic acid, uric acid, carbonic acid, lactic acid, 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 sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid. And you telling me that this stuff is, how is that good for you? It is burning you alive. Your body cannot process nor break it down. The hydrochloric acid that is produced by the fungus body of your stomach is not even hot enough to break these things down. They get inside the small intestinal tract that they call the duodenum or the duodenum, and it tears up the microbiota. It kills all the good bacteria and flora inside the stomach. Now you can't even get none of that phytonutrients that these things supposedly were supposed to break down to get inside the bloodstreams due to the capillaries what they, they call the capillaries and they even transportate transport the phytonutrients to each cell of the body to feed the cells the phytonutrients and the healing modalities it needs to sustain this physical carcass but y'all telling me that proteins are good for us y'all telling me that beans are good y'all telling me that a high protein diet is good y'all telling me that milk strengthens the bones y'all telling me that grains is good grains is the man then everybody want to talk about spelt and commoting man these things are super mucus forming you think i'm lying i will show y'all the videos but i will want you to do it yourself just boil grain and just boil your sp your spelt boil your your commote boil your teff Set it to the same hydrochloric setting as your stomach and boil it as the same hours it's going to take to actually digest it. And I'm going to show you what y'all saying is not true. It creates a gunky glue. And this gunky glue will kill and deprive your cells of oxygen, which will cause a mucosal response. So that shows you the spelt. That teff and all the kamut. These are mucus forming grains just like every other mucus forming grain. You can do this experiment yourself at home. You can do it yourself. You don't need no help. You can do it yourself at the crib. Then everybody be like, well, Yaki, you taking all the food from us. What are we going to eat? I keep telling you all the time, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> you have just been taught that that's not food. You think you got to have a hamburger bun on it, carbohydrates, with some meat on it, proteins. <laughs> Huh? With some greens on it, cellulose, and then you're improperly combining all this shit together and you wonder why you ain't pooped in days. You wonder why you got headaches because you got so much pressure built up in your transverse colon and your ascending and descending colon because this food cannot even break down and go anywhere because you're mixing up shit. One go through a whole digestive process called fil uh, uh, fermentation. The other one goes through putrefaction. So you got fermentation and putrefaction going on all at one time and you wonder why when that turd come out, you clear a whole house and you funkerize the whole entire world or you got gas and you farting everywhere because all these gases is just seeping these fumes is just seeping from the mood the uh, food because it ain't broken down it's just sitting in your stomach for for three damn weeks uh yo mama isolate easter heaven had that problem and it is with 25 grams of protein. See, and, and this is what I'm, this is a prime example, y'all. Uh, I wish I knew your real name, your mom. It seems from your picture that you are a Caucasian. You are not the same species as my people. We are totally different people. And that's what I explained. If you go back to the beginning of this video, you can eat that high protein diet. My people can't. Your digestive system, your hydrochloric acid in your stomach, your chloroplast and melanin field, your eel melanin and field melanin. You don't have that. We have that. You see that? We go by way of photosynthesis, vitamin D3 conversion from the sun. Uh, we, we are totally different beings. Just like a parakeet eat fruits and you got a vulture that eats uh, uh, eats roadkill. 
Just like you got a gorilla to eat fruits and then you got, you know, different type of primates to eat different things. Just like you have a, a mountain lion that's in the cold. Then you got a regular lion that's in a, uh, the sub-Saharan deserts, uh, deserts of Africa. And their diets are different. Their skin is different. Their melanin is different. Their geogenetic is different, but they're still part of the same feline system. The birds are still part of the fowl kingdom. Well, I am a black man. You are a white man. Even though we're a part of man, per se, if we want to even, because we can get scientifically in that too, but I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm here to just spit truth. Even though that you are called a human being and I am a human being, we are still two totally, totally different species. See that? Which would mean in our geographical location is different. You will come from the mountains of Caucasus, high in the air. That's why your nose is long. That's why your nasals point towards the ground. That's why a lot of y'all are, are, are more expanding when it comes to the respiratory than ours because y'all are used to breathing in air from the ground because y'all was up in the air. And that's the reason why y'all pigmentation is the color it is because most of the time y'all was hidden away for thousands of years in a cave, which it makes your complex lose a lot of the fuel and the ill melanin that you got. You see that y'all stomachs have evolved and have basically culturized itself to eat all these proteins. Cause y'all was used to eating the rats and every, anything that y'all found inside of the cave. If you get books and start studying caveman history and studying the, the mounts of caucus and just really studying the, the history of the white man or of the Caucasian, you will start seeing that y'all can eat certain things that the black man can't eat. You see what I'm saying? We, we, we from the islands or we're from Africa where we where we didn't lack zinc. We didn't lack copper. We didn't lack gold. You see that? That's why y'all have social problems like that. That's why y'all, y'all, y'all hunt the way y'all do. The reason why that hunting spirit is in y'all, because that's what y'all did when y'all was in the mountains. Y'all hunted for y'all food. Y'all hunted or y'all stole food from each other. That's where you get the word snack food from. Snack food actually come from snatch food. You know, we didn't use forks and, and, and paint. Y'all built that type of stuff because y'all was trying to assimilate animals. That's why y'all ran down and killed y'all praise. We didn't need to do that because we had bushes that grew berries. We had vines. We had grapes. We had watermelons. We had bananas. We had all types of different things that was grown by the sun for a sun people. So you can eat the proteins like that. And I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of Caucasians are now coming to me because the protein is now, you know, killing them too. So eventually, even though it's not messing with you now, eventually it's going to catch up with you. Uh, your mama, uh, isolated. Eventually it's going to catch up with you too. So y'all can eat beans and, and grains and all these gnarly chemistries and, and gnarly foods. Y'all can, but eventually it's going to catch up with you as well. It might not be in this generation. It might even be a thousand years from now, but potentially how y'all, was made y'all basically a uh, 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 mutated uh just like the man if you look up the genetic codes and i'm not talking about the bible or spirituality i'm just talking about the genetic code of human beings man will look like a mutation of a woman that's why we got nipples that milk don't come out of that's why we got erectic clitoris that they call penises you see that so we got a lot of structure functions that we can't even use on our bodies but if you look at a woman the woman can use them showing that we're a mutation of the black woman the black man is same thing when it comes to y'all y'all are more of a mutation due to like seven thousand to seventy thousand years of the black man i mean i'm, I'm just keeping it real when we talk about science now y'all don't get on my throat because i'm speaking against religion and the bible don't say this i'm just talking about studying and what you can pull out of the ground and what archaeology can tell us and what you can see from from straight from your eyes and reading this stuff so it's certain stuff it's certain stuff that you cannot that we can't do that you can do that will not kill you or hurt you but will harm the hell out of us you know what i'm saying period point blank period and we prove this all the time time and time again and it shows you that you know all of the different dna sequences that's inside of y'all we got nine series dna you have six series if you check your dna you will see all different types of uh, animalistic traits built up within y'all and and, and and one of them is actually uh uh the, the monkey blood a monkey dna you know you'll find that inside of y'all dna series you won't find none of that inside of ours showing that y'all are your creatic cells and we are prokaryotic cells we come from prokaryotes y'all are your creatic y'all come already with the the organisms or the organelles inside of y'all we are prokaryotic cells that that came with one organelle system that evolved into what we being now because we don't come from earth y'all come from the earth we come from the cosmos we are literally classified by the government as extraterrestrial beings y'all we are so your food and your diet will be totally different from ours and we need the different we need different food and fuel to actually fuel our bodies rather than you do so you can eat chicken and red meat and stuff like that all day but if my people do it they're gonna be in a hospital 
with diabetes, high blood pressure, a uh, heart disease and all of that. But essentially y'all do, y'all do, you know, come from us. So eventually it's going to catch up to your kind and your species too. If y'all don't hurry up and change these diets and that's it. And I just hope, I just hope, uh, I'm not, you know, hurting anybody's feelings here. This is not to mark my page or to try to get me blocked or none. I just got back on YouTube. I just like spitting truth and I don't want to have to alter the truth just because I want to keep my page and my following. So I got to tell the truth is in me. I just gotta, I gotta tell it. That's it. So that that's it. And, uh, yeah, I hope, hopefully you weren't offended by that. Uh, yo mama, I can't say your last name is a toaster. <laughs> yo, your mama is a toaster. And I like to know your actual real name too. But yeah, that's the reason why you can eat that stuff and we can't. That's it. And it's just the truth. It is what it is. All right. Y'all got any questions? I'm going to open up the phone lines real quick. I'm going to open up the phone lines real quick and let's talk about it. Y'all got any questions uh, on this particular topic? We can actually talk about it. Any questions about proteins? Any questions about human beings and what is a human beings? Uh, any questions about any of that? You know, we we all are different people and we all are part of the geograph a different geographical location of the earth. So that means our diet is going to be totally different from one another. And that's the reason why, you know, Caucasians can eat high protein diets and get away with it. I mean, even if you look at uh, Asians, Asians can't eat, you know, or what they would call a, you know, mongonoids, and, and you just get into, you know, homo sapiens sapiens. A lot of people can't eat them diets like what the Caucasians can eat, but the conditions that they were in, you know, their bodies evolved to handle things that we just can't handle. And these just, that's just the facts. What about the Latino race? Uh, Latinos are actually black people. So you, you, uh, you will be on my diet. Whenever you get to like Latinos and Dominicans, you know, uh, y'all ancestral line comes straight, straight out of ours. And then you, if, especially if you look at real Latinos, they black as me. Then you got your lighter shade Latinos when the Spaniards and stuff came in and started mating with them and the Caucasians came in and started mating with them. You started getting lighter complexions. But if you look at an original ancestor, original Latino, they as black as blue as, as the soil of the earth. So uh, if you have Latino uh, descendants, I mean, you you are black. I know y'all and I know a lot of Dominicans hate to hear that, but y'all are black. Latinos are black. Uh, when you get into Mexicans and Spanish, y'all closer to Asians, y'all closer to mongonoids. You know, if y'all look at the uh, the seven, the seven, I want to go, I'm going to go through this with y'all one day. And you start breaking down the seven classifications of human race. You know, a lot of the, the Mexicans actually come from Asians. Not Asia, because we originally was in Asia. Asia was a part of Africa, but they come from the, gra the, the group classification of Asians, which would be mongonoids. That's it. Yes, and then Indians, uh, Native Americans, then were black people. We are the original here on this land. We actually came here 13,000 years ago from Africa. So Columbus never found shit, and he didn't find America anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's Pucci and them found America. Columbus actually found uh, Puerto Rico and then all of that, South America. So it was a whole lie about that as well. But when they did get here, we were already here. We were already structured. We were already a moving and thriving civilization and all of that. Uh, if you look at the Indians, y'all see now that look like they mixed with Mexican and different type of race. Them are not Indians. Them have, they have been whitewashed to receive the, the casinos and the land and stuff. But true, real Native American Indians look just like me and you. My great great grandma was a full blooded Indian. My grandpa is a full blooded Indian, full blooded, you know, red foot, black hawk, Cherokee like that. That is that's us. That truly is us. That is not nobody else. So we are the true Native Americans. Y'all, we are. We have to realize that it was a three way slave trade going on. It wasn't just a lot of us coming from Africa to here, but it was a lot of us coming from here, going to South America, going to Portuguese. It was a lot of us going back to the Congos, a lot of our brothers and sisters in the Congos, going to Spain, going to Europe. I mean, it was a, it was slave trades going everywhere at one time. And it's just a whole big lie when it comes to the natives to this land. That is truly us. A lot of us never even came from Africa. Your ancestors did, but you, you've been here over 13,000 years. Your great, 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 great grandfather times 20 times a hundred was from america so you know what i'm saying let's just keep it a buck 50 on that as well it's just a whole lot we are the original man we are the originals man this is what it is we are the originals and you have to act like it you have to find the responsibility the, re the responsibility and start doing something with the information if you know you got quit eating like a peasant 
If you know you got quit eating like other races, if you know your original bean, then you need to start searching and seeing what the original food was and finding something closely to that genetic disposition, to that g- genetic ingredients. And the closest thing you're going to get to is the fruits, the natural fruits with the seeds that, that is grown by Yahweh and not created by man or hybrided by man. And now you do have some that was hybrided by your ancestors that's still good for you. Like if you even start studying ancient Kemet, they was hybriding all types of food, ancient Sumeria, the Anunnaki, how they was hybrid all types of food and mining gold and being true alchemists. They was changing all types of shit, but it was still good for the body. It's just that when, you know, the, the Caucasians started doing stuff, I, I just think the, their ancestors, and I'm not saying individually, because I know some cool individual Caucasians, but as a whole, you know, their ancestors had certain propagandas, they had certain plans and diabolical plots to, to, to rule the fucking world. So, you know, depopulation started setting in, so the, 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 the hybrid in the foods was not for survival anymore it was to weed out people and to kill out bloodlines and to destroy and you know compromise dna strands and stuff like that and it's just the truth y'all just the truth i don't finna open up the phone lines i'm finna open up the phone lines uh let me plug it on in it's going down ain't it you don't think they're gonna uh shut my page down do you <laughs> Then I just talking about the uh different makeup of the of the races i ain't call no i ain't say crack or nothing like that i just but you know how they be getting mad at recording you know what I'm saying? No. Last thing I want to do is get the page shut down. I've been trying to be real good lately. Now, I've been I've been watching my words. I ain't been I ain't been racist or not or nothing. All right, y'all. So I'm on here, y'all. Uh, you can give me a call at 708-831-2335. 708-831-2335-708-831-2335. Hold on, I gotta actually call. Let me hook up to the Bluetooth. I'm gonna Bluetooth this deal. Hold on, y'all. Let me Bluetooth this deal real quick. Let me Bluetooth that deal. Give me one second, y'all. Hold on. I want to Bluetooth. I want to Bluetooth to my board. Let's say I'm plugged in. Well, I guess that'll work. One second, y'all. Is it still on discover mode? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to plug in. If you don't pair up, they calling like a mug, too. All right, y'all. Gonna give me a call 708 831 2335. 708 831 2335. Somebody actually put that in the comment board too. 708-831-2335. I think this mug in, right? We finna find out. Hope I ain't messing nothing up. I might have messed something up, y'all. 708-831-2335. I know y'all saying they saying they keep getting voicemail. They show sure is. What's going on? I see y'all calling. Just going to the voicemail. I think I messed something up. Let me take it off the Bluetooth, y'all. I think I messed something up, y'all. <laughs> I'm always jacking some stuff up. Yeah, that's what it, it is. My bad, y'all. I know I didn't. I messed something up, y'all. Everybody saying it's going to the voicemail. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. I'm, I'm going to have to fix that when I get offline. But, uh, <laughs> more, more. all right, Ani, I said we should answer some questions on the comment board. I'm, I'm here to answer uh, the feds on to you, D-Lo D- Mac. The feds been on to me, man, cutting break lines, following me around, holding hundreds of thousands of dollars. They been on me, brother. That ain't nothing new. <laughs> it says, how do I become a member I want to learn about detoxing. Uh, the the new website ain't up yet. When the new website come, we are gonna bring back the membership. We don't have it on that on the site no more. It was messing up too much stuff on the site, so we took it off until the new site is built. What fruits without seeds? If that's all you can get your hands on, is okay. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not at all. I mean, think about it. If a fruit don't have a seed in it, that means it's missing. It's genetic material. 
So if potentially what you eat breaks down into DNA and RNA due to the ribosome inside of your cells, then you're going to have missing material and missing information in your chain, your DNA chain and what they call the peptide. So, you know, you have to eat food in this holistic structure. If you don't, then that will change your DNA because what you eat makes your DNA. It will makes RNA and that RNA is what builds your, 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 your cells or your structure function. So no, try to eat everything with seeds. I'm pretty sure you can find something with seeds, some cucumber, some something and stick with it. Probably too many calling at once. Tara Sullivan, peace, peace goddess. How you doing queen? That's what it was, but it's like, it ain't working at all no more. It's cool. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. My grandmother used to call me an Indian chief. Since I was three years old, never forgot it. One love. That's because you are Indian goddess. This is what it is. What foods can we eat? Uh, Sherry ghee. You can eat any food that, you know, was made by Yahweh. Uh, foods, fruits is good. Vegetables is very, very good. But make sure it have a water content. All right. And I'm not saying to switch all the way over now and try to go 100 percent. You will have a, a crazy detox effect. I'm just saying slowly start working your way uh, towards that like ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Uh, greetings, my brother. What can I do about my nose being stuffy? But when I blow, there's nothing. That means that you have crystallized mucus in your nasal passage. And that means your glymphatic system, uh, Leo soul seven. I love them. Seven, 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 seven. Completion, 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 completion. Uh, that means you're backed up interstitially. You have to open up your lymphatic system. So you're going to need lymphatic herbs. Fenugreek will open you up all the way. Mullen leaf will open you up all the way. Uh, uh, coats foot will open you up all the way you see what i'm saying black seeds will open you up all the way add in some cleaver leaves that'll open you up all the way or what you can truly do is you can go on my website and you can get my respiratory kit off my website www.yakiawaken.com that'll open you up and it'll start draining that lymphatic system you'll start getting mucus out of your nose your ears your eyes your butt your penis i mean everywhere and if because if you backed up up here through your sinus cavities then that mean you backed up in the transverse colon too so you just need to go after the whole mucous membrane make sure you cleanse the whole mucosa membrane open up the lymphatic system get them lymph vessels going but the only way to do that is by bringing your adrenal glands online shocking them adrenals get you a little licorice root make sure them adrenals online because the adrenaline uh the adrenals produce amino acid i mean not amino acid but a hormone called acetylcholine and what that does is it actually dilate the lymph vessels to start moving through peristalsis it start moving all that lymph throughout the lymphatic system and moving it towards the kidneys for the kidneys to start filtrating all of that you know lymph off but i mean if it's right inside of your nasal passage you have an out or gateway right there you know if you can get or put some uh, lemon peels you know and put some key lime peels and stuff like that uh inside of a pot bring it to a bowl put a little cayenne just a little cayenne pepper fruit and when it's you started boiling put a towel over your head and start literally inhaling all of that steam that come up from that pot and let it break up all that crystallized uric acid all that crystallized mucus that's inside the nasal passages as well nasal passage as well and you'll start snotting all that out right into the pot but that's what you would need i say the respiratory kit off the website or do what i just told you to do either or work uh the kit from my website will work better because it works longer because it really gonna cleanse and it's gonna reclaim that mucosa membrane and open up the meridian pathways and the lymph vessels to get you really flowing to get rid of all that metabolic waste toxic buildup and all that other bullshit that is actually crystallized and trapped inside of that mucosa membrane how do the beans sprout and how long uh you can you can sprout some beans real good wrap some beans up uh in some wet tissue paper and then every now and then come with a water bottle and start spraying water on it. you look 20 to 48 hours later you'll see them beans sprout the little embryos are open up and you'll see them babies come forth from up out of there uh but you know the only beans that i see that are real beans in chemistry will be chickpeas and i'm not even beans they're part of the lagoon family uh other beans i don't see being real now a lot of people classify beans and nuts as different but most of your nuts are beans too and the only nuts that i recommend i would never eat them because they cool complex too but you can get some real good building material from them it's brazilian nuts brazilian nuts got real good selenium in it so if you need to build up selenium you got tissue factors the thyroid is not working properly you know you can eat a, a brazilian seed uh, a brazilian nut one a day that's very good for selenium and you got walnuts walnuts are very good for building material too but if you like me and you healthy and you're not lacking any amino acids then you don't need them because then he's gonna have too much building material and these were the kidney starts shutting down and all types of stuff so 
That's how you sprout your beans and uh, them are the nuts that I was talking about. Can we talk about washing out fruits the right way? Yes, the best. And that's a good question. Uh, Janaya, Janaya Rashid. Rashid, I think I said your name right. Goddess, peace, goddess. The best way to wash your fruits is with food grade peroxide. Food grade peroxide or turn the water on and turn it to a boil. Once you get it to a boil, let it simmer and dip your fruit to get all the wax off and to get all the bad micro. Well, I can't say bad microbiota because bad microbiota is not bad they only bad when they play the wrong position so you can either boil them turn it to a simmer and dip your fruit or you can get you some food grade peroxide and do 30 percent food grade peroxide and do 80 uh, 70 percent water and you will let them sit for two minutes and you'll wash them off that way that's the proper way to clean your fruits but do make sure you cleanse your fruits because it can be some gnarly uh transparent parasites on your fruit that you do not want inside of your body so very good question there very good question uh, it says, can I gain weight with juicing only? Uh, Tiff Moore, you can, but you got to cleanse out. You got to completely cleanse the body first. I know I know somebody build building, like literally building muscle on an all-fruit diet right now, but he had to go through our geogenetic level three two times and really cleanse his body out and get his digestive system built back up, his microbiome built back up in the body and all types of stuff. And now we see that he's building from the fruit, especially when he's on bananas. Bananas in, in uh avocados build him a real bulky him and he look good he cut up he he lean cut he ain't that big cut but he lean cut and he on an all fruit diet mostly in juices building muscle tissue showing you and then you got to ask you know the the gorilla the gorilla in his essence when he's not pushed up into the mountains and when it's not being you know uh 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 being in captivity in and in a zoo somewhere force feeding him and he got to be forced to eat the shit like you see them eating now foraging and eating all these different cellulose and bamboo shoots and all of that a, a, a primate is literally a frugivore by nature and you will see that they will have their children on fruits for like six years and you will see them baby gorillas being bulky in them up off of fruits but they digestive tract is right you see that and then they have enough hydrochloric acid in their stomach to break through cellulose of these fruits and stuff too though so you can gain weight off of fruits but you got to cleanse the body first if you malnutrition and you have problem with digestion you have problem with absorption utilization and elimination you ain't gonna build nothing you're gonna be skinny as a toothpick queen so cleanse the body first Dion mason thank you so much thank you so much goddess tamika holmes peace peace goddess how you doing how's you and the family Ringing in the ear, usually ringing in the ear is spiritual, y'all. A lot of that do come from the the uh, heart palpitations and the elect the way the negative ion chains is linked up to your heart and passing through that uh that 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 vein. You can get a lot of ringing from that coming through that ventricle of your heart. But if it's not the heart, usually it's a spiritual awakening, and you're trying to open up your ears and vibrational tone frequencies to different frequencies that have not been introduced to your spectrum yet. So most of the time, if you hear ringing in the ears, it's just you upgrading. You're downloading a new database or a new software to your neural network. Network. So I think it's that one with you, Tamika Holmes. I know you be on the herbs. You got your children on herbs, your husband on herbs. So I think it's the spiritual part and not the heart part. Uh, are there any good grains to eat? I would be real with you. Uh, good day. Peace to you. God is, I don't really know. Like every bank, every grain that I didn't study ain't good. They ain't bad for you, but they show sure ain't good for you. You see what I'm saying? They not bad for you, but they show sure the hell ain't good for you. Because all grains, all grains actually causes a sticky like sub. Look, check this out. I'm just finna show y'all. Watch this. Where my tablet at? I'm finna show y'all this. Hold on. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just finna show you what I'm talking about. And this is a lesson within itself, y'all. But man, no grains is straight deadly, y'all. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but they, I mean, they are. Them grains are, are deadly. I mean, they they are very, very, very mucus forming, and people don't want to talk about it. But I mean, it is what it is. Watch this. We just gonna do simple Google. We're gonna do simple Google. Watch this, y'all. Grains producing sticky substance. <laughs> Boy, look at all this stuff. Look, how does the sticky substance be produced by grains and plants? It's all stuff on here. Look, barley diseases and pests due to sticky substance. Let me find a good one for you. Hold on. 
Why does grain and rice have a sticky substance? Here go another one. Look, they all in here, y'all. Look, what that say? What is exactly is that six sticky rice substance, right? It's going to tell you that it's starch. It says sticky rice is one of those great joys of Asian cuisine. <laughs> see that? Look, the Asians like the sticky rice. Hold on. Let's see if we can find it. Look, it's called gluteninus. <laughs> Gluteninus is one compound of starch. Hold on, look, look, y'all be thinking I'll be lying, boy. Let me break this off real quick. Hold on, check this out. Let me blow it up. Let me blow this up. Y'all see that right there? Y'all see that? Let me see if it worked. I'm gonna read it to y'all, and you can find this on hoofpost.com. All right, it says, uh, as a huge flan of glutinous rice which is sticky grains. It says formal name. We're, we're here to clear up a few things. For starters, sticky rice is distinct from common white rice. It is not merely a different, uh, it's not nearly a different preparation. It is a short grain variety of rice grown in Southeast Asia. It says, while many types of short grain rice may be lumped together with something called sticky rice, true glutinous rice is a separate breed. It says, and it all boils down to the component of its starch. So when you look at, when you start really getting into grains, you know, they full of starch and these starch is complex mono, uh, polysaccharides, which is sugars or what you call cellulose. It says glutinous rice contains just one component of starch called amulopectin. Remember I said that name earlier? And then I was talking about amulose, amulose and amulopactin. We're going to talk about that because these are substance in rice that will have you fat and that will, it's real sticky and it will mess you up. It says, while other kinds of rice contain both molecules that make up starch, amulose, pactin and amulose. They, it says there's more to it than that, of course, namely that's amazing and fun to eat. But this just shows you the little stuff that's inside of grains. But I got a whole notepad that's just full of all notes and stuff. We're going to go over probably tomorrow because I got to talk about, you know, how we I got to prove that we are extraterrestrial beings. But there you go. So, you know, I don't know any good grains. I checked all of them from spelt to teff to uh, kamut. I checked rye. I checked all of them. When you eat too much of any of them, when I mean too much, I just mean little over uh, just a little over a little. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even eating a lot, just a little. It is very, very mucus forming. So me personally, I don't see how, you know, uh, our late great teacher said that these things were alkaline grains because I just don't see it. I mean, they're very mucus forming. And then we boiled them. We actually did the experiment and boy, wait till y'all see them. Man, it, it formed a clunk of goo, a guck. It formed a clunk of gut. And what we did was we got we got the boil down to the stomach temperature of the hydrochloric acid and we put it in because it takes four hours for it to fully actually, you know, decompose in the stomach due to fermentation. You see that? Then it sits another hour or two in the duodenum before it actually goes in, into the uh, uh, pyloric sphincter and goes into the cecum to, to go up the ascending colon, the transverse colon. We seen the whole process of it and let it sit that long due to its digestive process. And it got stickier and stickier and stickier. And we wonder why people that eat high grains are very fat and why they poop very slow and why they so, you know, they, they, they so stuffed up and they can't use the bathroom due to constipation and why they blood sugar is so high because that sugar is just slowly, slowly breaking down and fermenting. And then what comes from this stuff is high fungus, toenail fungus, yeast, bad yeast, BV, all types of stuff come from that because you seeping this sugar that can't be broken, broken down properly. It's just seeping through the digestive tract going into the bloodstream and it's just sitting in the body because you can't get rid of it and because it's full, it's too complex and starch and it's hard to break through that cell because you don't have enough hydrochloric acid inside of your stomach to break through the cellulose. And that's every grain that I know. Wheat, barley, rye, I don't care what grain it is, all of them do the same thing. Now, am I saying that if you eat just a little bit of it that you're going to die and it's going to mess up your system? No, I'm not. But I'm saying, you know, even an every other day thing is bad when it comes to bread and when it comes to grains, y'all. And it's just, you know, it's time to level up on the information. That's it. That's it. 
eyesight. I have double vision. Uh, Meek Meek, whenever you need to clean out your eyes, we just created a, a eye bright tincture. It'll be on the site probably in two days. We just got it. Uh, you know, our graphic designer just hooked up the label for us, but you're going to need some eye bright, clean out them eyes, realize that the eyes is connected to the nervous system and the pancreas. So you're going to have to cleanse out that pancreas. The, the pancreas and the eyes have a very symbolic, embryonic, symbi uh, symbiotic relationship. So you got to go after the pancreas, cleanse the uh, pancreas up, especially the uh, angers of line lines, the beta cells, the alpha cells, and the delta cells. Cleanse out the pituitary gland because the pituitary gland is connected to the eyes as well. And last but not least, which is the biggest part, the nervous system. You got to get all that mucus up out of the eyes. Usually it's the sinus cavities built up with all mucus and now it's starting to back up, you know, uh, uh, inside of the lymphatic or what they're going to call glymphatic fluid. It's starting to become stagnated inside of the system and it's backing up into the optic lobes. Whenever we cleanse our eyes and people have blurry vision and you start put, washing their eyes out with the eye bright they wake up with mucus seeping out of their eyes or crust and covering up their eyes and as soon as they wash their eyes out they're able to see better and you will see that that little gloss that was over their iris is now gone showing you that blurry vision and bad eyesight is due to mucus backed up in the eye the question you have to ask yourself is this why is the mucus in your eye in the first place if mucus is a part of the defense system that means that it's acids inside of your cranial it's acids inside of your sino, your sinus cavity and mucus is actually leaching uh, magnesium and phosphates from the bone matrix to come calm down the acids so the reason why mucus is there is because acids was there in the first place so this is nothing but acidosis inside of the glymphatic system and you got to open up the lymphatic system to even drain the glymphatic system so cleanse the eyes uh uh eternally externally and also you know cleanse out the uh transverse colon cleanse out the gut because the gut is connected to the eyes make sure you're going after the uh pancreases and cleanse the islands the langerhans do that on an all fruit diet make sure you get some eye eye herbal wash off the website and you know if i was you i'd do a kidney and adrenal uh kit Clean out the kidneys and the adrenals, get them adrenals online, open up the kidneys where you can start filtrating the lymphatic system, getting rid of all that backed up lymph and that interstitial stagnation. And you start seeing that you will get your vision back. All right. From a brain injury. That's still going to be the same thing, all fruit diet, because even if you got a brain injury, Meek Meek, you're going to have to actually regenerate the tissues and the neurons and the, the neurons there, too, that neurological pathway. So in order to regenerate any type of tissue, whether it be neurological, whether it be phys physiological, talking about your bones, teeth and any of these things, true cellular tissue regeneration is through kidney and lymphatic system detoxification so you're gonna have to detox so it's gonna go back to the kidney and adrenal kit and it's gonna go back to rinsing them eyes out and making sure that you know you ain't got a, a torn octave blow but you can grow back all the neural networks we do it all the time but you're gonna have to be at god status you got to you got to get back on god status and you got to eat god food and that's just simple for real for real how should a diabetic show slow down their detox crisis oh that's a good question california king boy that is a good question because you can't slow it down with glucose because it's gonna rise the sugar that is i love that question so california king he must have been listening to me a lot because he just asked a perfect question how can a diabetic slow down his healing crisis so must be on some herbs hopefully it's yaki herbs and that detox is whooping his butt which is supposed to do he's wondering how can you slow down a butt whooping without going on glucose because if you go on glucose it's going to rise in the blood because you 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 trying to heal the pancreas so what we do is we put you on an all fruit diet because fructose goes through you know a cellular infusion where it don't need to use the pancreas to actually transmit the fructose into the cell for you can get atp so if he go because we usually slow down the detox on vegetable matter but he or she can't eat vegetable matter because the glucose sugar is going to rise the glycogen in the blood again which is going to be more problems of diabetes you see what i'm saying so he's asking what is the best way Ooh, this is a good one what is what is the best way to slow it down the best way to slow this down is going to be on coconut flesh coconut you have to get into your fatty acids now coconut flesh is a good way to slow it down and also your avocados is a good way to slow it down and it's another one that i'm going to tell you buck choy and romaine buck choy and romaine buck choy and romaine i'm going to be the only way but still keep taking your fruits it's going to bring a balance there to slow you down and that's not going to have you you know uh pooping throwing up and just being down your adrenal is probably down too and that's probably why you're feeling down and out but that's a real good question so i just told you make sure you get your avocado game up get your coconut uh, flesh game up and you know eat just a little bit of romaine and buck choy here and there that's the only 
only vegetable matter that I intake. And the reason why I'm recommending that because they have a high content in water and a low content of uh, glucose. Good question. That was a good question. How would you gain weight on an all fruit diet? Uh, juggling little. I just answered that a few questions back. You have to rewind the video. Tam hop fit. Can the kidneys heal if you're already on dialysis? Yeah, we get dialysis. We get people off dialysis all the time. It'd be uh, what's the percentage of your kidney function? How often you, are you on dialysis and or are you peeing or not? Because a lot of people that's on dialysis are not even urinating or not. Not with those. I'll be able to uh, tell you. Yes, we can. But yeah, we can bring you back. We can bring you back. We bring a lot of people back all the time that is on dialysis. Uh, let's see. Is HSV curable with your diet? If you go see Bender, uh, I don't cure any disease. I don't believe in the name of diseases. But since you call in the HSV, I will identify with you at that. And I tell you that you can get rid of anything. All you got to do is go on my YouTube or my Facebook page or my Instagram. We just posted an HSV healing testimony just not even four hours ago. So, and they're going to be live with me tomorrow. You're going to be able to see them and they're going to tell you about their healing testimony and what they went through on an all fruit diet with the geogenetic therapeutic package level three. And they got rid of HSV within two months. Some people took nine months, but we have hundreds and hundreds. Then we got thousands of HSV healing testimonies, but I don't believe in HSV. I don't believe in AIDS. I don't believe in HIV. I don't believe in the names of these diseases. They are literally naming the symptoms of your body, trying to cleanse itself and calling it a disease, which is total bullshit. Shit. This ease is an illusion. The body is trying to heal itself. So in order for them to make money off of suppressive therapy drugs, they call the body trying to heal itself different diseases. All I'm doing with the herbs and with the fruits is opening your body up more for the healing process can go fast as a speed of light. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Uh, da, da, da. Is cranberry juice is cranberry juice cleanse the kidney? I guess you mean can it? Uh, I don't recommend you eat, you drink cranberry juice all the time. It's actually bad for the kidneys. It's actually bad for the kidneys. And if you start looking up and see where cranberries come from, it's most definitely a hybrid. Uh, what else we got? How do you detox the prostate? Uh, Yolanda Green, detoxing the prostate. You got to look at what the prostate is, where it's from, and what what it does. Prostate deals with a lot of uh, testosterone and seminal mature fluids. Uh, prostate literally sits between the 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 bladder, and the prostate sits sits between the testicles. So the best way to cleanse that out is opening up the kidney, since it's right by the kidneys. Uh, prostate actually holds testosterone in it a lot, within testosterone in its nature before it goes to the testicles to be incubated before ejaculation. You look at it; it's very acidic in nature. So you got to you really got to get away from acids foods. Uh, this is shown and proven, you know, 50 percent of black men actually get prostate cancer from eating, you know, steaks and eating uh, heavy, high protein diets. Get off all the proteins, go all fruits. Whenever you're dealing with the glandular highway, the prostate is a gland and it's part of the endocrine system. Get on berries, high berries, 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 berries. Make sure you eating a lot of good grapes, too, because grapes is good for astringing, you know, cancerous cells and popping tumors and really getting rid of cancer is mutating cells so get on an all grape diet once you get off the 12 day grape diet or the 30 day grape diet go on all grapes uh eat astringent fruit fruits is going to tug and pull at the lymphatic system uh and then you're going to go after them kidneys and adrenals like never before open up them kidneys and then get that lymphatic system moving once that lymphatic system is moving that's what's going to pick up all of that cellular metabolic waste that's burning the hell out of that prostate anyway and get rid of it what is your psa levels your uh your specific uh prostate uh Antigen numbers. Yeah, I, I want to know your PSA levels. Is it what? 1.2, 6.1? What is it? And once I see your uh, prostate specific antigen numbers, then we'll really know how quick it'll take. But it's easy to cleanse the process from cancer or anything. Tell me what kind of other breast milk. Tell me what kind of breast milk other. Hold on. Tell me what kind of milk other bre other than breast milk can a newborn drink. Okay, that's what you're saying. You got to make your own. You got to really go after the pine, uh, not the pineapple, but the coconut. Get you some coconut, you know, because coconut is the only fruit uh, other than cucumbers that actually uh, assimilate and looks like the woman's breast milk. And you got to add some things to it. You know, you got to add some things to it, some muscle builders to it to really build their fat. If you look what's high inside of breast milk, it's not protein. Protein is only 7% of protein in breast milk. Only 7%. And I might, and I might, and it might be uh zero, it might be 0.07%, I believe. 
So it might be lower than that. But I know it's seven. I, I got a real good photographic memory and I read books on this so many times and just did a lot of testing. But guess how much carbon is in there? It is so much freaking uh, carbon or what you call sugar inside of breast milk. Not only that, you got macrophages, you got your lymphatics to build up. You got good microbiota, good bacteria and stuff inside of there, too. But what outweighs every constituents inside of breast milk is sugars. So the best thing to do for real is go on fruit juices, but start off with your coconuts and then add a few things to it. Uh, we had a mother's milks coming out, but then one of the, one of my teachers and somebody I follow all of a sudden a year later came out with the same thing. So I didn't want to seem like I was jocking when I was one really getting jocked. So we, we changed the name and freaking it up a little bit and we're going to bring ours out. But, uh, that's what I do. You know, you have to rebuild your own and your base is going to have to be, you know, your amino acids that come from your coconuts and going to have to be your carbonates and your sugars that come from your coconuts. Other than that, you know, the black woman's tit or find another black woman with some good breast milk and see if you can borrow some of theirs. I'd rather do that before I go on Similac and formula because, you know, Similac is being sued right now. And if y'all Google it, somebody Google it and put the actual uh, link inside of here. All these all these baby milk formula companies are getting their ass sued out the frame right now because it's killing a lot of these infant babies. All right. Uh, cervical polyps. Can I use herbs to dissolve them? Yes, you can, Jackie. You need the amino acid therapeutic package off the website with an all uh, fruit diet. You know, cervical cysts, ovarian cysts, them are nothing but tumors. Remember, we was talking about the amino acids built on the house, but that means you have very high levels of estrogen, too. Estrogen actually acts as a hormone. Uh, estrogen, pregnenolone, progesterone, and testosterone all come by conversion or uh, metabolic processes of LDL cholesterol. This cholesterol is what actually converts these things into sexual hormones. You're going to have to look at the pituitary gland because the pituitary gland is the master gland over the reproductive system. So you're going to have to go after the pituitary gland. You got to go after the whole entire gland. You are highway. Everybody know what I teach. The berries is the food to the endocrine system. These are your chakras too. So you're going to have to clear a lot of this emotions, open up the emotions, get these emotions to, uh, you know, flood out because emotions just stands for energy. Emotions mean you got a lot of stagnated, blocked up meridian pathways in the body. And you're going to have to make sure that you're not drinking bottled water, which have high estrogen in it. Uh, make sure that you're not eating breads and stuff, which have high estrogen in it because estrogen actually act as a, uh, a preservative and an adjective is at that, you know, so watch your water intake, make sure you're not drinking out the plastic bottles, make sure you're not eating any type of soy and yeast abstract because all this shit got so much estrogen in it and you already producing estrogen naturally. And then you get you some blue cohosh, blue cohosh will actually regulate your estrogen, not black cohosh, but blue cohosh. They would regulate your estrogen levels and, uh, Get on our geogenetic level three package. We're going to go after the kidneys, the adreno, clean up all the endocrine system, clean out the gut, you know, open up the lymphatic system, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and go on to all fruit diet. And you notice that that stuff will be gone. I don't know, y'all got a hair just itching in my nose. Uh, what else we got? Does hands and feet and mouth disease come from herpes? Rakia Hemp Hill. That is a good, good question. I just had this conversation two weeks ago. So I'm not going to say it's come from herpes, but I'm going to say that that is a creepy crawler. It is a parasite and they do manifest themselves in the same way, don't it? So you will treat it like it's a parasite. Don't treat it like it's a skin disease because there's no such thing as skin disease. Your skin is taking a poop, a alternative root of elimination or what they call a fontanel. So, you know. I don't want you to get stuck in skin disease. The skin never have a disease. The skin is taking the shit because the metabolic waste that is produced by your cells is not being flushed out by the kidneys by way of the adrenals and the lymphatic system. So your body is smart enough to start taking a poop through its skin. You see what I'm saying? It is a parasite, though. So you almost definitely get our parasite elimination kit off the site. Uh, have any y'all make you some topical salve, some cream to rub on your skin to seep good in there and get all of them zogites and all them different germet eggs and stuff up out of there. And you will see the hands, foot and mouth disease go away. But it's a good question you asked that because don't they look just alike? The way it expresses itself, if you look at it under a microscope, you're going to see some shit moving and living within inside of themselves. So. It's most definitely a parasitic, but I would be a liar if I sit up here and said it's the same thing as herpes. Now, if you're dealing with shingles, that's herpes. You're dealing with herpes dermatitis, itchy elbow disease, that's herpes. You're dealing with psoriasis, that's herpes. You're dealing with eczema, that's herpes. You're dealing with chronic acne, that's herpes. You're dealing with HSV-1, that's herpes. You're dealing with HSV-2, that's herpes. 
You say you're dealing with smallpox, that's herpes. You're dealing with chickenpox, that's herpes. That's all a part of the herpes virus. That's all a part of this hemoth worm. That's all a part of the zoster family. That's all a part of Faskiolovsky's boosy toxioplasma parasite. All that's herpes, but you know, hand, foot, and mouth disease. I wouldn't say that because you know, for one, it looked like a fluke. I mean, for one, it looked like a flatworm, not a fluke worm, but it is a parasite, though. Good question. Y'all asked him some good questions today. Can you tell me? Can you tell me how me and my children, not kids, kids are baby goats, carries. So children can go to the healing house. The healing house is not open now. I just bought some land. In uh, Georgia, I will show y'all the land, and we got some more land in Augusta, Georgia, that we building healing houses on. So hopefully by the beginning of the year, we got some cracker for y'all. I'm spending all my money and all my, my my emotions and energy into these projects, trying to get this stuff up and running. So hopefully they'll be open by the beginning of the year. But we shut down. Me and Kobe shut down a healing house here in uh in Missouri, in St. Louis, because it was too many people booking, and we didn't have enough bathrooms. We had five bedrooms, but we only had two bathrooms, and you know, we was going to get portal potties, but people couldn't even make it to the portal potties. People shitting in the beds. And I mean, it was just, it was a, it was a disaster because the herbs move you and they couldn't get up and get to things close enough or they'd get up and try to go to the bathroom and there'd be somebody else in the bathroom. So then you got people pooping on themselves. So yeah. <laughs> so we had to shut the healer house down due to, it was too much shit <laughs> literally. So we had to shut that down and we opening up uh, some more out, out in Georgia. Uh, let's see what else we got. So totally those are genetic manipulated food. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Heart valve issues as in leaky valves and murmurs, uh, color pink. What you gonna have to do, God, is you're going to have to strengthen up your connective tissue. What's in control of connective tissue is a hormone called parathyromone and parathyroxin. So we're going to have to focus on the thyroid and the parathyroid. These are what strengthens the connective tissues up. Anytime you're dealing with aortas and valves and things like that, especially dealing with the heart, it's a down thyroid or parathyroid. So we got to go after the thyroid. The best way to go after the thyroid is with iodine and bromines, phosphates, and some in little by a little bit of carbonate. So with you, it's gonna have to be the geogenetic level uh two package, an all fruit diet, and make sure that you add in like kelp, you add in bladder rack, fucus, a little bit of sea moss, club moss, dose, and things like that here and there, and taking these herbs for you can strengthen up the connective tissue, strengthen up the bone calcium matrix, clean out the blood, clean out the transverse colon, get all that mucus and all that acid out. Because whenever you got a down thyroid, you know, you usually looking at, you know, uh radio radioactive activity so that's what i would do if i was you i'll get the geogenetic therapeutic package level two make sure you do an all fruit diet uh what we would do is we would add our uh glandular package in there mix it in for free because each package even though the 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 four foundations of it which is digestion absorption elimination uh, uh utilization and elimination is the same each different function cell function is the problem cells up there it's going to take a different type of herbs because you know herbs vibrate at a certain frequencies to match the frequencies of each organ in your body. So if it's the heart, then I'm gonna have to get an organ that's gonna match that heart chakra frequency because it's gonna simulate with it more to cleanse it and, and tone it up more. That's where you get the word tonic from. That means strength and toner. It's a proliferator. It, it actually cleanses, but it don't it don't only cleanses. It strengthens that cellular structure function of that part of the body. So you know, geogenetics. I mean, look, y'all, my geogenetics and my three bitters, y'all. I mean. It's healing the world right now. Not of diseases, because I don't believe in diseases. It's how you get locked up and get in trouble. And the shit don't exist anyway. But it literally opened up the body for the body can heal itself faster. And that's the reason why you see people with these lying names like HIV, cancer, sickle cell anemia, leukemia, uh, herpes, and everything else that's been healed uh, under our watches. You don't see that no more. Because when we're not going after cancer, I don't believe in cancer. We're not going after herpes. I don't believe in herpes. I believe in parasites. I don't believe in cancer. I believe in mutated cells that's been privated of oxygen. I don't believe in scoliosis. I believe in, you know, calciotone of the, of the spinal tissue of the cell. I don't believe in lupus. I believe in extreme acidosis. I don't believe in heart disease. I believe in acids being, you know, stuck in the heart and starting to deteriorate the tissues of the heart. I don't believe in, you know, uh, uh, nephritis. I believe that, you know, inflammation is setting in to the nephrons and the kidneys because the lymphatic system is not working. See, they're going to call it names and call it disease. Let them own that shit. Let them own them words. 
You see that? I just believe in sales and structure function. And when the sales stop to being structured and they function and stop working, I know what to give the sales to cleanse the cells, to open it up or to regenerate that cellular tissue figure and start working again. It's a total different. We in two different businesses, y'all. We in totally two different businesses. They in the business of disease and naming shit. We in the business of 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 embryonic symbiotic relationships and herbs and cellular structure function. You see that this is detoxification and cellular tissue regeneration. Totally different from the allopathic community. So let them have their names, let them have their words and their chemotherapy and their suppressive therapy symptoms and all that other shit. We ain't got nothing to do with that. Let them do us and we going to do us over here. And that'll keep them from fucking with me, hold my money like they've been doing, following me around everywhere and, you know, all that other stuff. So we ain't we ain't even in they, they matrix no more. We are part of a whole new different system. We don't even use them names no more. But if if y'all don't haven't learned this stuff yet and y'all say a name, I will identify I will identify with it with you, but I'm not gonna say that's what it is because it's not. It's a lie. All right. <sighs> It says, can you talk about the uh, estrogenic process of smoking? Yeah, of smoking high doses of THC. Yes, THC converts to estrogen. That's why. And uh, people got mad at me and ridiculed me. About a year ago, I said that smoking weed turned men feminine. Then a, a, a Muslim man uh, that's under uh, brother, uh, the Islamic doctrine that's under uh, um, uh Muhammad, Malaysia and all of them. And Farrakhan, he came out and said the same thing. He had he just so happened to be a doctor. He said the same thing I've been saying for years and, you know, everybody applauded him. But, boy, I got called crazy out my mind and everything when I've been saying the same things for years. That smoking high weed, especially when you're smoking this homosexual weed, when they mating two females and mating two male plants together to get all these seedless, uh, seedless hybrid plants like hydro and all these bubblegum cush and all of that. You know, and they, they're literally making these plants wrong due to high levels of estrogen. And I mean, it literally the estrogenic properties that's coming from this is straight turning people homosexual, giving them feminine. I mean, turning people feminine. And somebody came out with it, hit all the research. I've been talking about this, but he came with the documents and the proof. And I'm glad he did because everybody was hitting me up like, man, you've been talking about this, Jackie, and it's the truth. So, I mean, yeah, we got to watch. And you ain't supposed to be smoking THC anyway. You're not supposed to be smoking your weed. Smoking weed is bad for your lungs. Why would you bring tar to the lungs? It makes no sense whatsoever. But it is good. You know, everybody talking about Reggie weed with the seeds in it. That's that whack shit. No, that's the good stuff. <laughs> Make sure your weed got seeds in it. You know, everybody, they all these rappers is promoting seedless weed and promoting GMO, homosexually grown marijuana, and it is messing with y'all brains, killing y'all brain cells. And yes, it does give you high estrogenic thought forms, which it makes you very feminine. It actually shuts down your your pineal gland and it stunts your growth. And what I mean stunts your growth, it shrinks your penis and it sterilizes you. And all you gotta do is Google this stuff. This is real data y'all this is what you call real time data of of people in laboratory doing clinical trials and studying this stuff so you know don't don't knock me knock what everybody else saying they've been i've been saying it for years but now everybody else coming out with the same stuff so yes it do i'm glad you talked about that brother i'm glad you uh mentioned that all right y'all look y'all got so many questions i think i did like so many of them <laughs> but i am gonna be back live tomorrow y'all so uh i'm gonna be able to catch y'all tomorrow it's so many questions that i wasn't able to get with i'm gonna fix this phone problem i don't know what's going on with my phone but i'm gonna fix this phone problem again all this stuff will be downloaded when a new site get up we will have a podcast side of the website with just the vocals not the videos and y'all be able to play this with your phones off or with your phones locking to still be playing with y'all playing for y'all and y'all know we getting to the healing man getting to to the healing uh with that being said if you love yourself and you're ready to change your life if you're ready to get off that animal protein if you're ready to really 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 put in that work and become the god that's already within to be that re that, that reflection that mirror to the creator yahweh be balanced and come take back your earth your planet uh tell me you love yourself tell me you love yourselves tell me you love yourself and you love yourselves Can smoking weed be reversed? Yes, it can. If you're addicted to weed, get you some Kwasia chips. If you're addicted to weed, get you some Kwasia chips. And make sure you get my uh, respiratory kit off the website to clean all that tar off your lungs, God. All right, I love y'all. Tiffany, Tiffany Bell, I love you, goddess. 
Dr. Wesley Muhammad. See, thank you, bro. Just, I'm glad you did it. End with 1111. I'm glad you look. And we already in frequency. 1111. Completion, brother. Peace, God. Peace, goddess. Whoever you is. But the name is Dr. Wesley Muhammad. It's his name. Check him out. He's been saying the same thing. I said this a couple years before him. Y'all was ready to hang me from a cross. He said it and he proved it. And a couple of Caucasians proved it too. So, look, y'all going to have to hang all of us down in. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, Antonio Perez, peace, God. K Knight, you love yourself. I love you. Tracy Ray, appreciate you. I love you, goddess. Andrea Nine Double Nines, I love you, brother. Jania, I love you, goddess. Rashida Cox, I love you. I love you. Jackie, I love you, goddess. Meek Meek, I love you. Yoranda Green, I love you. Lona Bonds, I love you. Euphoric. Usana, I love you. I think I said your name right. Done with it. I love you, God. Tiff Moore, I love you, Goddess. Joy, Joy No Seen, Noeen. I know I be messing y'all names up, but I love you, Goddess. Forgive me. The Mayan Shaman, I love you, God. I love you, God. I love all of y'all in the building, y'all. I love y'all. I really do. That's why we here at Dead and K9 Lives to doing this. You know, we just got to start taking responsibility, start loving ourselves, get on our herbs, get on our fruits, and, you know, really, really tap into that unseen, tap into that spiritual realm, start meditating, doing your diaphragmatic breathing, your reversible diaphragmatic breathing, DMT breathing, you know, all of that good stuff, y'all, and really start vibrating high, man. It just is what it is, all right? So with that being said, peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace, peace. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. We be live tomorrow at 830, and I got something for y'all. But that Wednesday, we talking and we proving, we are proving that we are in fact, that we are in fact, extraterrestrial beings and y'all ain't gonna like a lot of stuff i gotta say especially not the men but hey it is what it is you see we ain't here for truth we ain't in here to make y'all feel good we ain't here for the truth and the truth sell shall set us free straight up and uh for those that wanted to know the link again make sure y'all go to north 7 street.com the cop the wear you know black messiah wear I am my ancestors and all of that. Buy all the shirts. Hook them up. It's black owned, black operated. They looked out for me, so I'm looking out for them. Check them out. If you got any thing you that you want me to promote that's good for the people that's good for my following if it's some bullshit i ain't gonna even respond to you but if it's good for the evolution if it's good for the progression if it's good for the growth of my people no matter what the merchandise is no matter if it's food no matter if whatever i'm not a hater if it's for the growing of my people send it to me i will promote it you know what i'm saying i will promote it i will promote it and you can just send me those questions or them inquiries to questions at yakiawaken.com any questions that y'all want to have answered we was going to be in the autonomy lab anatomy lab tomorrow but i got this healing testimony of herpes so we're gonna be here again but uh next week when i get back which is next tuesday i am gonna be back in the anatomy lab you know showing y'all the models and going through the questions and stuff like that uh, again it's north 7 street.com this is the website north 7 street.com check them out this is how the site actually look it's a beautiful site look at the little black god on there just notice what his shirt say. His shirt say messy genius. You know, tell your story. So make sure y'all check them out. They got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful logo. Got the seven on there. Y'all know I love the seven. Like I said, it was just, it was divine timing. It was just in sync. It was just synchronicity was blowing out of this world. I had to, I had to grab them. I had to grab them. All right. So peace, 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 love, light and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace.